right, I'm gonna be playing G Darius once again, which is, uh, as I said, an acronym for a Gradius. Um, some people like to say that the G in it stands for Good Darius, because this is a Good Darius game, and it really is. I, I, I've been playing it, and um, it took me a while to like learn some of the mechanics, but I'd like to uh, talk a bit about the mechanics with the game. So if you try the game yourself, maybe it'll uh, be able to understand what's going on, because it, it took me a bit to wrap my head around the mechanics of the game. Mike Matinee is first today. All right, so we're in zone A here. So let's let's talk about the different things here. So you got missiles, bombs, and armor. When you grab orbs, like let's say I grab, grab a red orb, that will add to my missile strength, and you can gradually make the missile stronger until eventually it becomes a laser. When you grab green orbs, you can add that to the bomb, and that gets stronger. When you add blue, it adds to your armor, which is like a shield, basically. Um, then there you'll see where it says A and B. Um, those are the paths on the levels. So during a stage, uh, at a certain point, you'll be able to choose between taking the top path or the lower path, A or B. So that's what that's all about. And then the bottom left there, you'll see that there's capture balls. Capture balls is a purple ball that you will shoot out at an enemy, grab them, and this is the main sort of mechanic of the game, is grabbing enemies and having them become part of your ship. And I'll, and I'll do that here in a second. So here's like a red orb and a green orb. They, they went into my little meters up top. All right, so I'll grab something, right? Let's see. Here, grab that. And that is uh, some little extra captured ships that are on me. They look kind of like a Transformer or something, like Optimus Prime's head or Decepticon or something like that. But sort of like uh, the options in Gradius, now th those are like additional shots that I have. And you can use them in different ways, and I'm going to use them like this right now. You can use it as a bomb, so let's do that. Boom! So I use it as a bomb, and then, oh, I was going to try to grab that big fish there, but it looks like he ran away from me. And th that purple one I got is another capture ball. You can run out of them, which sucks when that happens. Um, and you might notice a lot of this is like, you know, underwater or by the ocean and, and all this is... The uh, Darius games are all about, uh, it's like a sort of a, like an underwater shmup. Uh, you know, a lot of the enemies are fish, and I always thought that that was very weird. Um, I still think it's weird. It's kind of a weird idea, but it, it's cool. Um, some of the other Darius games that I've played, I haven't like liked very much. But this one, uh, I just find it to be just beautiful, like beautiful sprites beautiful animations and stuff like that and great music. Uh, there's a soundtrack for this that they released on CD at one point a long time ago. And um, yeah, like look at this in the background. Look what's going on in the background. Like boom, you got a, like a spaceship blowing up. I mean, there's, they made it, it's so uh, just arcadey and representative of like, you know, ar arcades at the time. So if I can shoot that mask off. So these ships a lot of times here, let me do this. I'm gonna try to grab this guy if I can. There, like that, and I grab him. So now, now he's part of my thing. Apparently, you can do a Hadouken move, but like I never seem to be able to pull it off exactly. It's one reason I don't play a lot of uh, fighting games because I stink at doing like those quarter circles and half circles and all that. I'm terrible at those games. But yeah, that's the general idea. And we took the uh, A path there. Again, I, I guess I missed when it divided. I seem to miss that a lot. So this is the boss, first boss. This is Eclipse Eye, which sounds like a He-Man and the Masters of the Universe villain or something like that. You got Trap Jaw, Triclops, and Eclipse Eye. Let me see. Let me take this guy out. Uh, and then here's the other thing that you can do. You can go like this. Boom. And you 
a giant laser blast. And then boom, I think the uh, boss is done. So that was a nice start. That's the general idea uh, behind how you play uh, G Darius. And then uh, they have the Greek alphabet here, so we're gonna go to beta. There's a alpha, beta, delta, lambda, all this stuff. Uh, Ninja Warlord, thank you very much for the sub. And K Train also subbed. Thank you very much for that. Yo, best stream in town. That's because it's G Darius. How many other people are playing G Darius on Twitch right now? And we're gonna have a prehistoric level. Let me catch up with my chat real quick. And Dark Fielders, thank you very much for the sub as well. Mike is big cock. I think you typed that wrong. I have a big cock. It's not Mike is big cock. Oh, no, you're saying that I am a big cock. Like I'm a fucking, like an asshole. Yeah, that's true too. I am an asshole. Yes. These are all true things. Play Expendable for Dreamcast. Uh, I don't know about Expendable. I'll write that down. Okay. You know what I like? Um, that Power Stone game is cool, and uh, that one I played, uh, God, I never remember the name of it. Uh, I like beat him up, I had streamed a while back, it was really cool, I can't think of the name of it right now. No, he said you have a big cock. I do, but that's not what he said. He said, he said Mike is a big cock. He's basically saying that I'm an asshole, but that's also true, like that's not wrong. All like they're both true statements. I am a fucking asshole, so it's fine. He's right. To the Delta Quadrant, Gipton. Giant space fish wants to shoot laser come at you for talking to his fish wife. That's true. That's the plot of the game. Let me grab something here. There we go. Good. So I get little shrimps attached to me. I guess usually I'm supposed to be like grabbing the mini boss stuff. So what I've been doing is exploding the enemy. Like right now I have these fish things are probably not that great. Well, I will probably try to. I'll use the bomb and I'll blow them up so that I can grab the mid-boss character when that comes. I like to point out when the level splits, it hasn't happened yet. I was very confused on that at first, but I understand it now. This is uh, Taito, by the way. I never had that opportunity. Oh, it's gonna happen right here, actually. See that green line going? So I'm gonna go bottom path, I guess. So now we're in D area. You can run into these backgrounds. Like, I could slam into that mushroom there. So do, it's like Gradius in that way. You do have to be careful of slamming into um, backgrounds and stuff, so be wary of that if you try this game out for yourself. that they did in this game. There we go. Green. Which is the bomb one. Or it's like twin bombs now. Missiles, whatever. Well, there's missiles and then there's bombs. for like one of these mid-boss things here, but I wish I could get more 
Oh man, I should have grabbed somebody. All right, well I kind of screwed that up. I thought there was gonna be like a mid boss for me to grab something, but I didn't see anything. I like one of those fish or something was gonna come along. So I kind of screwed this up. So we'll see how this goes. It's really bad that I don't have um, my laser thing here. So I might die. I'm probably going to. So I definitely made a big error. Big error here. Big time mistakes. Let's see if I can kill this thing before those things come off. so hard to get away. So there's my death because I didn't I didn't have a, a captured ship. This part is really hard. I might die again. Oof, I actually made it. At least I made that part. Okay, now, there we go. That'll save my save my ass. And then he's gonna do this thing come up. Here we go. And this is what you do. You go like this. And he should be dead. Or actually he comes out again, doesn't he, with this? Yeah, now he's dead. Alright, that was like okay. Would have been better if I would have came into it with a captured ship, but I'll take it. You wish you were as good as shooters as me. I it, it, I just like play them over and over, and like, and then like eventually like I learn it and stuff. So I mean, any of this stuff is just like, it's not. I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm good at it. It's just like you play it enough, that you get you get used to it, and then then you can become like okay through a lot of, you know, playing the game over and over. Practice makes perfect, right? So, just play it a bunch. Which I, which now I've played this game a good amount. Eventually, these captured ships explode. Like they, they only have so much like life on them. I wish they had, uh, or maybe I'm not seeing it or something. But I wish that the captured ships that you get had their own like energy bar, so you knew like when they were gonna explode. But okay, so we can do area H or area G, right? So I guess we're gonna be area H. That's happening right now. So this is where you choose a path, and depending on what path you choose, could be different what happens. So my thing is that you can like let these go for a while, these captured ships, but eventually when it's sort of like near up, oh, I was too late. I was just gonna say, I was, I was just gonna turn it into the blue uh, laser, but I waited too long. So that was an example of how not to do it. Don't do what I did. I'm having a hard time grabbing that. Extra ship here. 
here. Come on, did I get somebody yet? Finally. I just used up like a lot of capture balls trying to do that. There's an extra one though, right there. Everything, but the blue ones, you definitely don't want to miss the blue ones. Alright, so I grab that. Also, having as many capture orbs as you can get is nice. Alright, there we go. And we're going into a boss battle. This is Dual Horn. Uh, green uh, like, shrimp lobster guy. Now, I don't want to lose those things, so I'm using it now. I usually ha have a death here. Oh, pff, well, there it is. Because that laser thing got me. So that was really poor. <laughs> This part is very, very difficult. This is usually where I die. Especially with these big orb things. Damn it. I almost made it through that. All right, now this is like a bullet hell part where they shoot out eight million orb things that you just gotta try to avoid them. It's tough. Anybody that might play a lot of Toho in those kind of games might not have a hard time with this part though. If you're a Toho person. I feel like Toho is a good way to learn how to get better at avoiding a lot of enemy shots. Definitely good for that. Oh yeah, and then we get up top here, because he's gonna shoot across. Oh, come on! That stinks. I got really screwed there. So normally I would use the captured orb against that pink laser there, but I died, unfortunately. extra life on this level. If I can get through this. This isn't going super hot here at all. 
to see if I can beat this level, uh, uh, which I don't know that I will because um, I'm like low on lives and the guy at the end of this is really difficult, so this has not been the best run here at all. Oh, you know what the other thing was? I forgot. I was I was usually giving myself uh, five lives and I didn't do that. I forgot I was doing that. I was giving myself uh, like one life per stage, which I think sounded fair, but I forgot to do that. No wonder I'm not doing as hot as usual. I have less lives than usual. So I made this extra hard on myself. Oops. Me dumb. I knew there was something I was going to forget. And this guy is like insanely powerful. He like never dies. Alright, I got the extra life. Somebody, fuck. There, as long as I get something. Good. Alright, so the boss will be coming up. I can't believe I died there, too. It was really going poorly. Alright, so this guy is insanely difficult. This is probably where this will end. He just has like 8 million health. I guess we'll do area M. See what that's like. Oh yeah, this is the one where it's like, if I don't do this, I'll be dead. come out. Some big time bullet hell going on here. I think these shoot out at me now or something. Oh yeah, this part sucks. I don't know if there's anything to capture here either. Crap. Just got hit. What I can do is be up here and these missiles that I have will hopefully take these lasers out. Somewhat. Okay, yeah, all that's gone, so that's good. Uh oh. Alright, I'm looking to grab a uh, ship. Got one. Oh, damn it! Grab something. Mm. I need that blue. Let me hear what I can do. 
and do that. And I got him. I grabbed him. All right. Whew. All right. So now I might get this opportunity to use this laser against. This guy's got like a bunch of guns on him now. He's like super tough. I'm probably not gonna make this. this now because I don't want him to pretty good. You would think after all that he'd be dead. I mean, I definitely hurt him a lot. That's why this guy's so crazy. Like, that should have killed him, and it still didn't. And then this is where I'm, like, dead. It's like, what do you want me to do? So now I'm on my last life. I wish they would shoot out another ship for me to grab so I can capture something. I might die right here. Oof, I actually made it through that. Okay. I gotta capture, I gotta capture. Oh god, what happened? Oh, I actually, I blew it up as a bomb. All right, I just screwed this whole thing up. I just totally blew it. That's it, right? All right, so. Gold Eagle. I mean, that's decent, though. I'll take it. I'm putting my name in. That was pretty good. So my problem is that I was stupid, and I didn't get myself the lives that I normally had. Otherwise, I'd have two extra lives, and I would have made it further. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've been giving myself five. I'm gonna do player stock five instead. That's what I've been doing. All right, um, and we will take another run at this. And I'm gonna take a very quick break, um, and then we will do a, another run of G Darius. I will be uh, right back. So you go like, oh! See, and then the load was huge. Let's try this again. Oh! Oh! Maybe get a little more. Oh! 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 Hey! Hey! Ah! Woohoo! All right, so we got a uh, wonder flower, right? Mario Wonder. Can I have, can we just have, please, Rumble disabled as default? I don't, I don't want my, I never, 
I don't want that. Ever. This is, you, you know, I don't know why I play so much NES. People are like, oh, why do you always play NES games? Because the NES controller will never rumble! What's this flower got to say? Something feels off. Yeah, does it? Sunset Riders. Excuse me. Excuse me, I don't even want to play this game. I've seen this already in Sunset Riders. Hurry, hurry. Okay. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hold Y. And move to dash, dash to get wonder seed. Sure. Wait, what? That was it? <laughs> that wasn't it. Something's wrong. Nothing, nothing happened. Was that the whole thing? I have to do this again. Something's not right. That was literally it. Just go straight. Just go straight. That's what you came up that anytime I'm gonna like ever mention be like how's Mario Wonder? Oh let me show you a stage. Let I wanna show you the stage. It's called Hurry Hurry. Show me Luigi. Have you press R in midair yet? I don't want to. You know why? NES didn't have an R button, did it? I grew up with the NES. I don't think you didn't need it. When I could, I beat the entire game of Super Mario Brothers, and I never had to hit R. Why do I gotta hit R? I don't want to hit R. Why do I need it? All these extra buttons on here. A and B. That's all you need. That's it. A, B, and start. There, I hit R, by the way. So R, there. See this? See that spin? It's R. You happy? R. 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 Oh, no, no, no. Is this game age appropriate for Mike? I don't want to see him get frustrated and start crying because it's hard. I mean, sure, I probably will uh, get frustrated and cry. I usually do do that. I usually do 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 that. 
I cry like a baby. I get myself in a fetal position on the ground and I start weeping. I'm crying like a bitch. Hi. How does it feel to be the world's smallest webcam streamer? I feel like I'm not doing a good enough job. There we go, I feel a little better now. Now I feel good about it. You're supposed to be looking at this beautiful game. Not me. You don't need to look at me. You look at me, you're like. <laughs> That's what's going on there. You need to bounce on that bird anyway. What, I can't do a fireball here? What? You can't do fireball horizontally, Luigi? Why do you suck? Huh? Answer me, Luigi. Why do you suck? I can't throw a fireball when I'm walking on the wall over here. Hey, I'm walking here. So this is gonna... Make my pole grow! All right, guys. <laughs> I'm back. Um, so, there, there, seem, there seems to be confusion with a few people. Um, so, I do these streams, and I do them for hours and hours. I was doing like a 10 hour stream the other day, you know? Stream for eight, ten hours, something, six hours, whatever it is. At a certain point, I need a break for a minute, usually grab a cup of coffee or something like that. Um, so what we used to do is we used to have a screen up and it would say, it, we just had to play music. Um, so we thought to make it a little bit more entertaining for you while I'm away. If I'm away for five minutes, you know, instead of just music, we'd have highlights of old stream clips. So we put a thing on there that's, you know, you have a video and it's like some old, you know, moments like you just saw. Or we might have like little music video things, which I know you guys say you like. But, um, so then I, we play the video and then people come into the stream. And I, today I'm streaming G Darius. And then they come into the stream and they go, this isn't G Darius, this is Mario Wonder. Even though there's scrolling text go gro going across the screen on the top and the bottom of the breaks. Um, so here's what I need you guys in my chat to help me with. When a new person, because these are new break things that we're doing, when a new person comes along and they do that and they go, how, how come this isn't what the stream title says? Let them know that it's a break and let them know that there's like giant like scrolling flashing text that says he's on break because they don't seem to notice. Now, to be fair, when I'm playing video games a lot of times, I don't notice text either. So the thing is, is that I'm not alone, am I? I'm not the only one that doesn't notice text. So it seems a lot of you guys also do that. So the, the people that call me out for like, hey, how come Mike didn't see that text on the screen? They're doing that too. So I don't want to hear anymore about how I didn't read text in a game. Because I got all these people in the chat. You guys do the same thing, is what I'm saying. You do the same fucking shit. So, but but look, but seriously, like look how this is. Look now, now look at it again and look at the scrolling text. Ever. D do you see it now? Maybe now you see it. All right, anyway, today we're playing uh, Why Did I Get Rid of Channel Points? Do um, you wanna go over that? We can go over that. All right, hang on a second. Let's 
see if I can find the channel point thing I did. Here we go. All right, let's talk about that. First of all, people keep asking this question, so I'm gonna put this here. That's a link to it. I wrote a whole thing on it because that's a continual question I get. So let's go through it, shall we? I'm gonna read what I wrote. Channel points were something that I never asked for. One day, Twitch dumped this feature on us where viewers passively occur a fantasy currency as they watch streams, and then they purchase stuff with them. Like, some people would try to um, pur purchase, like, um, getting my attention with, like, a highlight. Just so you know, I use a different chat program. I don't even see the highlights anyway. Okay. Um, the problem is Twitch didn't furnish the creators with enough built-in ways to let people redeem channel points. Like, yeah, exactly. It's like you, you can highlight text, which I don't see anyway. Um, but it's like, what else can you really do with it? Like, some streams you could like. We did things where we like bet or so something. But it's like I didn't. I didn't ask for it. Anyway, so this feature was enabled by default. I was expected to come up with my own ways for you guys in the chat to redeem these channel points, which is something they're for. Like, I don't care. I want to play video games. So now I'm like forced into the situation where it's like, all right, now I got to figure out some way for you guys to use channel points. I don't fucking care about channel points. And I've been stumped as to what they should be used for. So part of this might have been because I thought channel points couldn't be disabled, which I didn't know for a while. I, I originally, when that came out, I like looked and tried to figure out how to turn it off, and I couldn't find the option to turn it off. And I looked for the option for a long time, and I couldn't find it, so I assumed I was obligated to use them. I thought like they had to be in there. Anyway, but recently I discovered I could turn them off, so I did, because I never wanted it in the first place. People ha who have their own Twitch channels can tell you that the dashboard on Twitch is really poorly organized and it's constantly like changing. It's, it's not that it's like that poorly organized, but they keep moving things around. So I'm like, oh, did, wasn't then this used to be here and now it's here and then I can't find anything. Anyway, so the channel points are gone now and um, here's some bullet points and some reasons why I turned them off. Um, I can't have audio or visual pop-ups on my streams. I used to have audio alerts. Do you guys remember years ago when I first started streaming? I used to have a thing that would go da 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 da, like from Zelda if I got like a sub. But you know, um, it didn't work because I like to do these edited stream footage things like later in the compilations. So if like you're watching like an edited thing and it's like da 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 da, it's like going off. It like screws with like edits and stuff, and it's just it's just annoying to have a, these noises constantly going off. Um, I have a hard time committing to gimmicks for a long time, and I think the channel point thing is kind of like a gimmick, you know, like, it'd be like, oh, let's, uh, let's bet, or whatever, on something like that, and it's like, you, you guys remember I used to have, like, the, um, inspired by Conan O'Brien, the Walker Texas Ranger lover thing, I had the Twitch switch, and we'd pull the switch, and a clip would play. It was funny for a little while, but like then like after a couple months, I'm like, all right, I've had enough of this. So uh, done, like it goes away, right? So there's some things that just need to be retired. Um, most channel point redemption ideas would involve copying other streamers. Okay, I like to do my own thing, and frankly, I'm not particularly interested in borrowing other people's ideas for my own stream. So people would say, just let people redeem their points for X, like such and such streamer does. Like, why don't you do what this guy streamer does? Why don't you do what that guy does with channel points? And so my idea of doing this on Twitch is not copying everybody else, like on Twitch. Oh, let me go see what the other dude is doing, and then let, I'm gonna copy that guy. Like, I don't wanna do that. Let them do that, they came up with that. So it's like, I'm not saying this channel is the cutting edge of innovation in live streaming entertainment, but I think it's reasonable to say that for the most part, this channel has its own distinct style that we came up with over the years, and I'm not looking to bite off of other streamers' ideas. Um, like maybe somebody uses channel points to fart into jars or something like that. That's their thing. I don't want to. Sorry, I know you want me to fart into jars. Um, I don't believe in highlighted comments. 
Okay, so here's here's my main one. Here's my main reason. This is my number one, like my like my reason why I really don't want to use channel points. Here you go. So in my streams, I try and replicate the feeling of the '80s and the '90s when you go over a friend's house and you're hanging out. You know, imagine for a second it was 1991 and you're over your friend's house. And you want to talk to him while you're both sitting on the couch, but you can't get his attention unless you use a point system. You'd think your friend is fucking crazy. That's not the type of atmosphere that I want in my stream. I want to talk with you guys in the chat like you're people, like you're human beings. Not to where you have to acquire points to get my attention in a highlighted message. Like, I don't believe in it. It's supposed to just be like, we're hanging out. Oh, this guy says something, and I, cha I chat back and forth. Not like, I better use my point system to highlight it. Like, fucking, like, it's like inhuman. And I don't like it. Um, what else do I got? So, and there's more and more and more. I, I actually have a bunch of other reasons, and it goes on and on and on. So you can, like, read, I'm not going to read the entire thing, but, like, that. so that's, like, half the reasons. There's a lot of reasons. So, yeah, they imposed it on me. I didn't want it. It's gone. I don't like it. It's stupid. <sighs> Makes sense? Yeah. And if, you, and if that's not enough reasons for you, there's more uh, reasons written there. Mike, I don't care. Yeah, me too. What is your favorite version of a Christmas carol? Um, what else do we got here? Mike acknowledges that we are human. Well, you might be bots. Uh, Christmas Carol. Um, uh, what is what is that? The the old one. It's like the what is his name? Like Alistair something. Say 1951. Probably that. I like that 1951 one. Um, I guess there's like the Mickey's Christmas Carol or whatever. I don't know. I don't really care to be honest with you. Well, it's like almost Christmas time, so that that's why they're asking me that. I don't really care. I'd rather watch a different show or a different program. I've seen like all these Christmas things like eight million times. People watch people watch like Elf and like whatever all these movies. I've seen like all the big. Christmas movies before, and I don't, I'm not the type of person, I don't have to see them every year because it's like Christmas time. Uh, I've seen them before, some of them are pretty good, but if they're movies that I've seen, I don't want to watch it every year on, re on, like, repeatedly. I would rather watch something that I have not seen before than watch, like, a Christmas Carol again. I've seen it. I don't need to see it again. I'm like I'm good. So anyway, let's get back to the topic at hand, which is G. Darius. I'm gonna do another uh, run of this here. Make sure this is how I want it. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I've been playing G. Darius. This is a cool game. I'm gonna run through it again. Mike, you say you like to talk to us like we're people all huddled around a TV hanging out, but how can 400 people all hang around a TV and chill? You can't. I mean, that's the unrealistic part of it, but what, what can you do? Or imagine that. It's like, yo, uh, like one, one of you guys would be like, let's see, who, who, would we, who am I going to pick? Uh... Uh, chubby catfish. Let's say chubby catfish and I. He's like, he's like, yo, Mike, let's go, uh, let's go get a beer, and we go out and we go to the, we go to the bar. And we're like, yeah, let's let's talk about uh, let's talk about Nintendo games, and we'll go have a beer, right? And we go do that. Me and chubby catfish, we're out, we're hanging out, and then we're sitting at the bar. I got I got my drink. He's got his drink, and he's like, so what do you? He goes, what do you think about? Um, what do you think about uh, what is the hardest stage in Mario 3? What would you say? What do you think it is? And I go like this.
And he goes, and he goes, hey, did you hear what I said, Mike? Mike, did you hear me? And I just, and I just like look on. But instead, now he pull, he pulls out a dollar bill and he puts it in front of me, and then and then he goes, so what about that? Here's that dollar. Here's a dollar bill, Mike. And I take the dollar bill and I go, oh yeah. Uh, so on uh, probably one of those like ice stages or maybe like level eight, you know, uh, level eight when you're like fighting the tank and all that, or some of the later, some of the levels that come like later, right before, right before Bowser's like castle, some of those like levels. And I, then I answer his question and then I shut up again until he gives me like another dollar. It's like I don't like that, you know. It's like can't we just like hang out and like talk? I don't, like I don't like the, the system, this like channel point thing. So I turn that shit off. I don't believe in it. That's how I feel about it. And they're always like creating some new fucking thing. Like I always get the okay. Here's where the level's dividing. I'm gonna go up top. Um, so now I'm like area A or whatever. Um, so there's oh, they're always adding a new thing, you know. And it'll be and some, sometimes it, Twitch comes up with like good things. Um, but sometimes they come up with things that I don't really want. Actually, recently there was another one. They added something that I didn't want. It was a. Uh, I'll tell you what it was. It was this thing where it looks like somebody subscribed. And by the way, Dr. Fart subscribed. And, and thank you very much for that. And he gifted a sub to great uh, giggity. Thank you very much, Dr. Fart. Um, but you see that? I just looked over the chat and I saw that. I saw that Dr. Fart subscribed to me. So I was able to say thank you to him, right? That's great. They added in this thing where... It will look like somebody subscribed, but they, it's not. It's, it's somebody saying that they watched, like, consecutive streams. They're like, oh, uh, Mumra watched five consecutive streams. And then I look over, and I'm like, okay, so Mumra subscribed. Oh, wait, he didn't subscribe. He watched three streams in a row. All right. Well, thanks for watching three streams in a row. But do I need to be alerted to that? So they put that on by default, and then I have to go through the options and figure out how to turn this shit off, which I found it, and it took me like 10 minutes to fucking find it. Here's what you, here's what you do. They want to come out with that and be like, okay, we're going to add this feature where you can get an alert if somebody's watched consecutive streams. That's fine, but don't turn it on by default. Add the option, and if I want to turn it on, I'll let me click a button to turn it on. Don't uh, fucking assume that I want it. Because guess what? In most cases, I probably don't want it. That's what I don't like. This turning on by default shit. Which is the real problem. They can add features. Whatever ideas they got, sure, add whatever features. But don't turn them on by default. Ask me first. A fuck, they want to. They, when they add a new feature, a big message should pop up and be like, "This is what the new feature is. This is what it's going to do. Do you want it? Yes or no? And then I can choose yes or no. But they don't do that. They just turn it on. And then I'm in the middle of a stream, and then this shit starts happening, and I'm like, "What's happening now? Oh, some new feature that I got to fucking contend with." That gets in the way of me, like, these p fucking people in my chat, you know, $5 or whatever to subscribe for the month. These people are spending their good, hard-earned money, and already sometimes I miss, you know, um, I miss it. Like, here, Possession Crash just subscribed. So, there you go. I was able to see it. Dr. Fart gifted a sub to Gingerbread, and I was able to see that. But then they put in this fucking bullshit where it's like, oh, oh somebody watched for two streams in a row. And that's great. I'm glad that you're watching consecutive streams, but I don't need to see that. It doesn't need to be announced. Just watch, just watch it. And sure, if you watch tomorrow, too, great. 
let's hang out. We'll talk about the games. And I'm glad you came to more than one stream. But it doesn't need to be a fucking announcement. Like, right? That's my opinion, at least. I don't think it needs to be a fucking announcement. So that was the other one that they added that I didn't like either. Now, you might go to another streamer's channel, and maybe they have that turned on. And that's their prerogative, but I don't like it. I, my streams... It'd be very simple. You come into the stream. We talk about video games. There's the chat. There's me. I'm here. You can see me. The game is over there. You, I got the box cover, so you know what the hell I'm playing. You got the name of the channel. That's it. Notice how I don't have, like, all kinds of other shit going on. Like, you know, like, these other channels where they have, they have like, bouncing characters going across the screen and, like, text pop-ups and all that. I don't want any of that crap. None of that. Especially it bothers me when stuff um, blocks out the game. I'm, like, watching somebody stream, and then they have, like, uh, some character, you know, like, pop up, like, over the game footage. I don't want to cover the game footage. The whole point is for somebody to come to the stream and be, like, l watching the game... We're having a conversation, and then I'm going to, like, cover the game footage with some, like, characters running around. That's, like, the worst thing. I don't want to do that. Like, look how fucking beautiful. This is a beautiful fucking game. Not everything that I play is beautiful. Like, a lot of the games I play are crap. But some of the games that I play are, are like, beautifully done. And it's, like, I'm going to fucking cover it up with a bunch of, like, stupid, like, characters and shit. It's uh, it probably, like, kind of, like, disrespectful to the artists that, like, worked on this shit. You know, when it's a game that's something that's beautiful, like this one right here. So I'm not doing that shit. I'm not covering up the goddamn game. The game is the whole point that I do this. Jimmy Three Cox uh, subscribed. Thank you very much for that. What is that fish? It's uh, one of the bosses, aliens. I don't know. The, that's what this game is. It's a bunch of fish. It's weird. Uh, Zombie Mario, thank you very much for the sub. Yeah, this game is striking to look at. I think so. Phones, browsers, everything. They're always making new shit by default. I know. It's just so annoying. What about hype trains? Um, those don't um, happen very often. Uh, and usually that those tend to happen if, let's say I'm like doing some kind of crazy challenge, like when I did like Ninja Gaiden or something like that. And I'm like, you know, and then I might, you know, I'm playing for hours and hours and hours, and then I beat some, like, difficult challenge, and then, like, people subscribe to show their, like, support, and then that might start a hype train, and that makes sense to me. Um, I mean, if they were, like, always going off, like, continually, then it might be, be a distraction, but I think those are good to show, like, uh, you know, when something cool happens on a stream or something. Um, so I, I, I'm down for it. Cause it's it's kind of like a party for a, a couple minutes, you know? And it doesn't, it, rare, it rarely happens. Um, so it's like, I, I'm, that doesn't really bother me. If it was every, like, two seconds, the thing going off, then yeah, it would probably bother me. But yeah, since those are, like, rare, uh, I, that's fine. You know what's another one that I, I don't mind? I don't mind polls. That's fine. Po polls are fine. Because, like, we cannot be having a conversation, and then when I choose to, I can click a poll, and we can, we can make a poll, and it only happens when I create it. I'm okay with those, too. Polls, the polls are fine. Um, thank you, uh, 
Rock for the bits. I appreciate that. And Half Pound Fries for the bits. And thank you again, Dr. Fart, for gifting a sub to Heckle Mode. Appreciate that. What is the best? Garius? <laughs> or Darius? You mean Gradius? What is the best Garius? Oh, that one. That's the best one. Gar Garius. Is that, that is. Have you guys played Garius? Oh, man. That's actually the best shmup I've ever played before. One of my favorites. <laughs> I love me some Garius. That's just a classic of the genre. I love Garius. Um, yeah, Gradius. Or Darius. Um, I like that Gradius Gaiden. And I really like Gradius. Um, I like Gradius 3 on Super Nintendo. And I like Gradius. Uh, Gradius 5. That one might be my favorite of the Gradius games, actually. Salamander 2 is really cool. And as far as Darius, uh, I think I'm playing it right now. This is the one I like. To be honest with you. Alright. Tripod sardine. I got a tripod sardine for ya. The train has stalled. Oh, is there a hype train going right now? Is that why you asked? I didn't even know. Uh, and we do have a hype train going right now. Did that, did that happen because I was talking about it? Uh, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Oh, we're at a level two hype train. Thank you. That was your nickname in high school? I had the same nickname. That's crazy. Both you and I. Uh, Carnage007, thank you very much for the sub as well. What is this? Have you considered having a chat on stream where the VOD watchers have contacts for things? Maybe not. Uh, my streams are prob uh, probably half of them, probably 60% of my streams, when I put them on YouTube, are already demonetized. If I were to also put the chat on the screen, they would detect all of like they say like cum and tits and cock and all the stuff that is said. So then it would probably be a hundred percent at that point. And I don't re I don't care like money wise because guess what? Even when a stream is monetized on YouTube, it fucking doesn't. It makes like a dollar. It doesn't make any fucking money anyway. But the problem with it is is when the videos do get demonetized, then YouTube doesn't push them out to people. And then, and then more people don't see it. And I, and if I'm gonna put a video on YouTube, it would be nice if, if people see it, you know. Especially, you know, if somebody subscribes to the channel, and you know, they want to fucking see the fucking video. You know, I think that's complete bullshit. So, so they de they demonetize the shit, and then. And then it doesn't get sent out, and people don't, don't even get to see the fucking video, unless they. And the only way to see it at that point is that they actively, you know, search for it themselves to see it. They, it. It won't get like recommended and shit. So the worst thing I could do would be to put this shit on the screen. So no, that will not be happening. Now, if we were all. 100% uh, clean here. If it was that kind of stream, then it wouldn't be a problem, but we're all a bunch of filthy fuckers, including myself, so no, it won't be happening. And Fancy Charles, thank you very much for the tier one sub. And Dr. Fart, MD, gifted a bunch of subs to the community. Dr. Fart gifted out subs to uh, Davy Crockett, Owen 2A, Christopher, Vunder, and 
Magusk. Thank you very much. Those are all from Dr. Fart MD. Thank you, Dr. Fart MD, for gifting out those subs so that people don't have to watch commercials on here. And we are now at a level three hype train. There you go. You know, we haven't had a hype train on this channel in like a long time, so thank you. There we go. We got a hype train going. Level three hype train with four minutes and 20 seconds left. Actually, before somebody mentioned that, I forgot that they existed. <laughs> what is the goal of this game? Do you have to beat the game in five different ways? Yeah, I mean, I'm just, right now, I'm just looking to beat it on one path, um, but that's what will keep you coming back for more and more and more and more with this game, because you can, you can, you can do the same path, but do alternate routes. That's one thing. There's like a million different ways to go in this game, so it's really, uh, this game has very high replayability, very high. Which is, which is a great thing, because, you know, you buy a game and you want to probably, you, it would be nice to play it more than once, right? You spend your money on a game, so that's a really good aspect to G Darius. It's absolutely a game you want to just play over and over and over and over. which I kind of have been. But at first, I've been, I've been sort of sticking to um, just one... Oh, crap. Just one path here. It sucks that I died there. Oh, no! It's like, I should probably start over. I just like died twice on this level. Usually I don't think I even really die on this level. Maybe like once. That was really, really bad. Yeah. Oh, we'll see. Keep it going, what the hell. the boss back there, right? Or the ship that releases the boss or something. Right now I'm gonna do this. Grab somebody. So if you guys are able to clear that out there. balls. Oh no. Oh my god, give me that. Thank you god. All right. So this, so that, 
ship shoots out that like white tic tac thing, and then this guy comes out. Oh god, I went for the red one, huh? I don't know this one as well. Shit! I don't like this part. I'm like not, I'm not used to the red one. I accidentally went the wrong way. This run is not going good. That's for saying the red version though. It's cool, I just don't know it as well. I usually go the green. I messed it up. All right, here it is, right? shoot across like that? What the hell? And these are not all armor orbs. These are things that are gonna kill me. No oh, man, I blow up. Alright. It's pretty messy. You would have loved this back in the day. You had no idea shooters were still a thing in the PS1 era. Oh, there's a lot of them. I should, I should, uh, next time I die, I should show you all the PS1 shooters. There's, there's so many. So PS1 is a great system for it. Well, the problem is if you're, like, from the U.S., though, like me, a lot of them were from, uh, in Japan or J uh, Japan only. Um, quite a few of them, so. But there were a bunch that were released here, too, though, so. Either way, there was there was a bunch. That's the guy I should have grabbed. That's stupid. I never grabbed that guy. I should I should be getting him. That's probably my big mistake. Give me that. All right, I got the extra. That's the that's the one extra life you get right there. Lord. I just feel like that thing does nothing to this guy. So I gotta make sure I, it counts. All right, I got one at the last second. This I messed that up last time, right? Do 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 do. -do. All right, so I went on like the top last time. Maybe I'll go on the bottom. I'm gonna try the bottom. This is where it sh uh, chooses the route.
Oh, is that hit that damn arm? Let me go under. You go down like this. Something like that. Something like that. Okay, and I grabbed another ship. Get another capture orb. Alright, I'm doing alright. I'm capture balls, capture orbs, whatever you want to call them. Slow down right here. I guess this giant ship in the back. That was terrible. Awful. Alright, this is where this thing splits into the top and bottom. No, it's gonna be that. Sh it's gonna be like a ship. I remember this. Oh no, it is a fish. I'm wrong. So here's what I could do. I'll do that. Maybe that'll help blow the fucking face off of it. There we go. I'm gonna grab them. There we go. That was pretty well done. Bum, 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 bum. Now what? There, come on. I'll take it. See what was going on. It's just moments like that. I like should have made it through that. That's what's gonna screw me. I don't know where to be with this thing. I have to learn where to be with the fire. Maybe I shouldn't go this path. I don't know. Oh, God. I have to learn where to be with that fire if I'm going to take this path. There's so many elements to this damn boss, and this part's hard to do. Sometimes I make it, sometimes I don't. Oh, made it. Say if I stay like up by his jaw, like I don't know. Nope, I don't know. Man, this is gonna kill me. Is that it? That was it. God damn it. This is not good. Not good. And try again. Man, this like fish is like impossible to kill. I swear to god, I've done it, but like not much. Oh my god. So hard. I, I'm gonna get it eventually.
Maybe I should try bait. Yeah. Yeah, the big red fish is really difficult. You got you've gotten killed by him a few times. Yeah, he sucks. Power 10 ad just goes Mike Matei live. Yeah, that's right, that's the channel you're on. Good job. I mean, you're not wrong. It's a correct comment. Good job. Mike Matei live. That's right. One of these times, I'm going to get a perfect run of this. Like, I'm hoping. <laughs> One day. Can I just do everything perfectly? That's where Sonic jumps off the thing. That's Sonic the Hedgehog level in the background. Root B. I didn't really like that uh, bottom path, I guess. I'm going to go to the top path when I get to the red guy. The red fish. Felt like I'm more used to the top path. requires only one strategy, run into enemies and die until you me memorize the level layout. Yeah, which I, I can't memorize the level layouts. Like, that's just not happening. It's like some of those games, it's like, um, it's like Looney Tunes games. Like, uh, what is that, like Roadrunner Death Valley Rally or whatever. They expect you to, like, memorize the, I'm not going to memorize the level. Like, it's just not happening. the Nintendo 64 have many shmups on it? I don't know. It should have. Uh, there's... Well, there's Star Fox 64. There's Rogue Squadron, if you consider that. But then there's uh, 
there's Star Soldier. There's a few. There's a few. I do. I definitely agree. There should have been more though. Because the controller sucked. Um, you know what? I use. Where is it? Where did it go? Showed it the other day. I don't know where it is. What the hell? Well, I have another Nintendo 64 controller that's really cool. Oh, is it in here? Yeah, check out this. This this thing's awesome. This is a new controller, but I actually recommend it. I think it's really good. Um, this one. For Nintendo, this is for Nintendo 64, okay? <laughs> that controller is really, really good. I've been using that. I like it way better. So, uh, that's what I'd recommend. It's a legit extreme close-up. Asking me a question. I got a question for you. Um, I know a lot of people don't like uh, like Saturday Night Live, right? Um, but uh, for the, for those that don't mind it, um, who's your favorite SNL cast member? I'm gonna give you mine. Um, well, I have two. I'll give you my two favorites. My two favorites is uh, Phil Hartman and Norm Macdonald. Those are my favorites. What are, what are yours? Oh, Andy Kaufman. Oh, well, that's true. I didn't think about that. Andy Kaufman, too. Good. That's a good point. Yeah, I'll add that on there. Thoughts on who, whose line is in any way? My thought is that I fucking hate that show with a passion. <laughs> That's my thought on that show. Does, any, does anybody else here fucking hate that show too? <laughs> am, I, am I the only one? Who else hates whose line is it anyway? Am I, I can't be the only one. What about In Living Color? I like In Living Color. It was a good show. I used to watch it a lot. I mean, like anything, there was bad skits, but like it, usually it was like really funny. Tanuki Jumpman, thank you for the sub. <laughs> you wanna do that? You wanna do like shows shows we hate? Let's do that. We don't usually do that. Shows we hate. Uh, I can't stand friends. I don't like whose line is it anyway. Um, I, don't, I hate the Big Bang Theory. Oh yeah, I can never go this way. This is a bad idea to go this way. I always go to the bottom, that bottom route. Here, crap. 
try to try to get through this. I never go this way. You like cops? I, I like I like to watch that sometimes. <laughs> I, I like like there's like the old ones. I like. I always notice that it's like always like the same episodes though. How do you get? I want to see like all of them. It, it, why is there no like box set of that? I would buy a box set of that, but like it's always like I, every time I try to watch it, it's always like the fucking same ones I've seen. The cartoon of the cops. Every reality show that ever existed. Yeah, I don't really watch much of them. Oh, Housewives. Is, see, I've never like watched it. Oh, like Lost. Yeah, like all that stuff, like like Lost or like Big Brother and all that shit. I, I don't like any of that shit. I like actively try to not know that that exists. up to this point. Actually, I'm gonna reset it. Cause it's like, then I'm just gonna like not have the lives and shit. I shouldn't have went that way. It was cool to see it though. Shows are generally shit after six to seven seasons.
the last season, season of Deep Space Nine sucks. <laughs> I love that show. Like seasons like four, five, six is, is like great, but yeah, that's one that definitely falls off the rails in the last season. It's such a shame too, because it's such a good show. Otherwise. Does anybody know, can the AV Famicom US ROMs, if it has Famicom EverDrive? The AV Famicom? I have an AV Famicom. Oh, you're saying if you do US ROMs. What, like, oh, on a, with a Famicom EverDrive? Well, if Famicom, oh, instead of having, like, it should work. I think that, I think they'll probably work. Um, so you're trying to, like, play the, you're trying to play, like, the U.S. games on, like, a, on a fam, ah, but a, with the Famicom EverDrive on a Famicom, U.S. Famicom? I don't know, actually. It's a good question. It's actually a really good question. Uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I have to test it and say... Why not just get a, just get a, like, a regular top loader, and, uh, if you want to do that, just, so I, so wait, so I have, um, here, let me show you. So here's my, let me show you something, since I can actually do this, since we're not playing NES for a change. Um, so here's my NES that I do all the streams with, right? So you guys never get to see this. So here's the NES that I play with, but it's modded. So there, this is also a palette switch on the back for different like palette options, um, but I plug in the HD RetroVision cable into that, okay, and then I do EverDrive. That's the EverDrive that I use, okay, and then you can you can do um, uh, Famicom. You can do every but you can do everything basically with that. So, I mean, that's what I would recommend getting. That's what I use. And if not that, then I would get a mister. And here's the thing about the mister. You might be like, oh, yeah, but I want to use, like, original controllers or whatever. You can. So I have, like, these, I have these adapters. So what you do is, let me show you this. So let's say you're playing the mister. You step like this. So you get a mister. You plug in a uh, USB, like, adapter like this. And this one's for Sega Genesis games. So you just get these adapters, and then you can plug the original controllers into the adapters and play it on the Mister. So I mean, that's what I would recommend getting with all this like retro game stuff. You get get yourself a Mister. I don't, I'd recommend getting it pre-built because it's just easier. Um, the first one I had, the, this one I'm using actually right now, I I built it, but I don't necessarily recommend doing that unless you're like a hobby hobbyist type person. They're cheaper if you build it yourself. A little bit, but but it's a little bit of a you know, pain to put put it together. Um, but if you but the mystery can be a little bit complicated. So if you want to go like the easier route, I would say to get a to, to get into the ever drives. Be my recommendation. But if you do get the Mister, um, that's like an all-in-one thing. It would actually be less expensive overall to get a Mister, even though it's like they're like a little bit pricey up front. But by the time you buy all the different EverDrives and then all the different systems and then mod the systems and do all that, it's gonna be that's gonna be way more expensive than just getting a Mister. So if I would probably recommend just getting the Mister, honestly, and then you just get a couple adapters like that. Here, so we're gonna go bottom path. We're gonna do B, because this is the path I know better. So hopefully, it should take me down through the water. If I can pay attention to the right paths. Paths. There we go. This is the one I know. I'm 
trying to think on that next stage, what the hell it is that I do to get me to the to the right path. <laughs> I start writing down the paths. Here, let's actually I'm gonna start doing that so I don't, so I don't screw this up. So the paths I do, I do path. This is the first stage. We do path B on the bottom. Make sure I do the right path, the same path every time now. Don't buy a mister since the new mister is coming out. Yeah. Oh, that's the other thing. Yeah, uh, absolutely true. I'm glad you said that. Now's not a good time to buy one, actually. They're going to come out with a new mister. It's going to be called the Mars, and apparently it's going to be able to do the Dreamcast. So don't if, you're, if you don't have one and you're thinking about getting it, wait until the Mars comes out. I'm glad you said that. Absolutely true. Wait for the Mars to come out. Definitely true. Very glad you said that. I, I forgot to say that. When does that come out, by the way? Was that going to be the spring or something? I also like that it's going to be called something else because I don't really I don't really like the name Mister. I don't like even like saying that. It's just like I, don't, I think it's a bad name. Um, so the new one will be called Mars, and that's better. I hope that, like and if they make another one like after that in like five years or something, they could just do planets, Mars, Jupiter, whatever stuff like that. That's a better that's a better way to name stuff than Mister. It's like a stupid name. Oh, the new one will be called the Sir. <laughs> and then, then there'll be the Ma'am after that. <laughs> Yeah, the daddy. <laughs> yeah, should be, that should actually, forget the Mars. They should call it the daddy. And be like, hey, you guys, you know what I play with? I play with the daddy. Oh, do you? Some, you talk to somebody that knows nothing about video games. You're like, so uh, what do you use anyway to do all this video game stuff? Oh, I play with, I play with the daddy. Oh, cool. So I think I'm going to like not play all these retro video games. <laughs> Daddy Mike. They should call what if it was called Daddy Mike? <laughs> Th uh, thanks, uh, Slack Dog, for the bits. This is the one I don't 
this uh, one way will lead me to the purple, right? And one way leads me to the one I normally do. What the hell is which? Which is which? I guess I'm, I'll find out. <laughs> Even if I mess it up, I guess I'll know after this. try to go to C, I guess. I hope this isn't a mistake. I guess I at least I'll, I'll, I'll know after this. So we went root C. Should have wrote it down before. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. This is wrong. Isn't it? Damn it. It's D. Fucking hell. Well, fuck me. All right. God damn it, I didn't know. Well, now I know. So we're, it's B, then D, and then when we get to Delta, I don't know that either. I want the one that's the fucking green guy on the Delta one. Damn it. Did you ever get the one up a few days ago? I did. It's on, uh, they're all on the fourth uh, thing. So it's on Etha is what it is. I know exactly where it is. I got it earlier on the stream. I'll, I'll, I'll probably get it. If stick around, I'll show it to you. But yes. So basically you get one extra life. So... Let's try this again. At least now I know the roots. B and the next one's D. Just remember D as in dick. That's right. That is right. What do you use the capture PS1? Um, well. that question so okay like I said again today I'm using the mister which can do PlayStation 1 but the other thing is I have uh, I have this this is a modded PlayStation um, that I also use um, often so it's just like it looks like a regular PlayStation right but it's not it's a modded system with an SD card in it instead of putting discs in it so this is called the X station which is awesome. I'd highly recommend that. That's, that, that's a great mod. Uh, so either X Station or the Mister, but you're talking about capturing it. Um, basically, either one of them at one point ends up, you know, HDMI into the computer, and then it's just uh, to actually capture it, it would just be the capture card, which right now I'm using the Elgato 4K, whatever the newest Elgato is. Answers your question. Oh, so B, uh, B. So I'm on the bottom. We're doing area B. And that should load up where I go down below the water. Yes, it is. All right, it's so important. Because I start to get familiar with these roots, and then it's like, then I know what I'm doing because I know what's coming up. I know how to react to enemies and stuff. 
if I go the right route. If I go the wrong route, then I'm like all over the place, you know, because I'm not like used to it. So pick a route and stick with it. And then eventually I could do another run where I do totally different route, which I'd like to do that as well on top on top of the so even if I like beat this on this route it'd be awesome to go through with a completely different what? Never do that. Come on. This is first level, right? We're, I'm not. I, I, I'm not gonna die there. That's just stupid. Fucking slammed into the wall. <sighs> Slack dog, thank you again for the bits. Do you know that you can hook up your NES controller to your PC via USB? Yeah, I have like a bunch, I have tons of adapters to do that. But why would I want to play NES on my PC? Then I'd be looking at an LCD screen, which I'd never want to do that when playing retro games. So that's not for me. But yes, I have all kinds of adapters to hook up things USB. Somebody, somebody goes, nerd alert. That's true, too. Nerd alert. That's so 80s. What about an old CRT monitor? What about it? Oh, are you talk you mean on the You mean to have a computer monitor like that? Um Yeah, but then I'm like using an emulator on like we're talking about NES games, right? Then I'm using some emulator and I'd be playing on like a what some kind of like Dell, like Trinitron or something like that. That's not what I want. I, I don't want to do that. I mean, that would be better. That'd be that'd be okay, I guess. To play, to play that was like a weird idea. Play NES on a like a Dell, one of those like Dell Trinitrons. I mean, I I have one of those kind of uh, computer monitors. Um, I don't know, like for that kind of thing, I, I would be like, I'll play like Doom on that because it's a PC game, but NES is like, you know, you play it on a TV, not like on your computer. Uh, I mean, that would that would definitely make it better though. Uh, it's not really my ideal choice, but that would be, t that would be tolerable. But yeah, I would do that more for PC games, like old 90s PC games, for sure. And I've actually done that before. I did a Quake stream where I did that. If you guys go back and you check out my Quake stream, I filmed my Dell computer Trinitron, my 90s like computer um, CRT on that stream. So I've done that before. But I, but I think of that monitor as retro PC games, like not really NES. NES, I want a television. Okay, wait, so, uh, A, B, we're going B, all right. Damn it, I keep missing the red one. on what your personal preference is. Like, you, you could play NES games on, like, a computer monitor like that. I mean, that's, that's it's an option, too. There's all, there's all kinds of ways you can play games. Just what, you know, it's all, it all comes, at a certain point, it just comes down to, like, your personal preference, you know, like, what you want.
I do not like this ship, uh, this captured thing. It's not my ideal at all. Get rid of it. I want that. That's better. Oh, is it even better? Crap. Well, whatever. Actually, I also don't really like this one. <laughs> I want one of those guys, probably. That's something that I really like about this. There's all, like, all these different enemies you can capture. So it's like, every playthrough can just like be like different, so many different variables to this game. It's really crazy. That's what really makes me like love this game. It's like these, these captured enemies and all these different routes and stuff. There's just so many ways to do things. It's like so freeing. It's like you're not just doing the same thing every time. Actually, this is a pretty good one to have here because it's not going to get hit by these fireballs. Next one, we're going Route D. You grew up in the late 90s and early 2000s. You're not super picky about hardware. See, that makes all the difference in the world. So, I grew up in the 80s and like early 90s okay I'm old as shit right so um, like when I think about sitting down and playing Atari 2600 or NES you know any of that stuff Genesis and stuff Super Nintendo I the whole time you were watching television back then you were looking at a tube TV and you get you it feels wrong to play it for me because I grew up in that era when I see the games on like an LCD I'm like well that doesn't look it doesn't look right and there actually and there are differences between how it looks on the LCD and how it looks on a CRT so it's like I prefer to have it look like how I feel it should look which is which is how it looks on a CRT. So when I whenever I try to play it like on an LCD, I'm like, you you can do that, but I'm it just I, the whole time I'm looking at it, I'm like, it just doesn't look right to me, and so it bothers me. So I don't like to do that. But that absolutely goes into like that's the era that I grew up in, and that's what I knew, you know. So if you never knew that, if you if like. If you were born, you know, th 10 years ago and you, like, you never had that or knew that, like, you wouldn't really know the difference, right? So it probably would make no fucking difference to you. Even if you are, like, completely new to it, though, like, let's say you're, like, 12 years old or something, you've never seen any of this shit, you should at least one time look at what retro games look like on a CRT, like, next to an LCD, just to see, because you'd be like, oh, yeah, they do actually, like, look different. You know? At least to know that it, that there is actually a difference, but... But if you don't have that, like, um, like you didn't grow up with it that way, I can see that it wouldn't really matter to you. Because even then you'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, I do see that there's a difference between the two, but I don't really care, so I'll just pick the thing that I have, which is probably an LCD screen. Because now you can go to Target or whatever and get yourself just, like, a modern monitor with HDMI, which is what most people have, where, you know, getting a CRT is a little, a little bit more difficult. So, out of, you know, convenience reasons, um, I definitely understand why people would want to um, do that. 
because the thing is, when I talk about this stuff, I tell you guys about what I want for me. You know, all right, so I have to be down. You know, this is about what I like to do. So you come onto my streams, you listen to me, you're going to hear about what I, the, what I think, you know? And somebody else might think something totally different, and it's totally fine. I mean, they're wrong because it's not my opinion. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. Anyway, I've talked about this eight billion times, but it always comes up because I stream retro games, so it just it always comes up. And I think I'm also in the minority with, I, I mean, I, I, I've looked around on Twitch and in the retro category and stuff. I, I do see other people that do stream with CRTs and stuff. I'm not completely alone, but it's like, you know, we're in the era, era of like, you know, you look at the retro category on Twitch and what is it like? There'll be like 2,000 people in the whole category, right? Where you go over to like, I don't know, the Grand Theft Auto or League of Legends and it's like a million people watching it. So already it's like a... Uh, niche, you know, category, and even within that, you know, half the people don't give a shit, so they just play, like, on their computer or whatever, and then you get down to even more, and I'm more of an old school, old guy, purist guy, you know, but you don't, you don't have to be, you can do whatever you want. I'm sort of I'm sort of one of the guys I'm keep I'm keeping it I'm keeping my vision of what I like you know alive and there's there's people that you know feel the same and then there's people that don't care you know and so, some people are even more like they don't even want to you use like an EverDrive or something like it has to be the original cartridge right or it has to be like instead of like playing an arcade game on the mister they don't want that it has to be like a PCB board that's even more being a purist you know the thing is I like that too though like that's also that's also fine I just do this out of like convenience and a lot of times things break and like aren't working and I, I used to like only stream with the like original cartridges and stuff but it's just like I stream like practically every day, so and it's it's mostly important to me to play the, to play the games. And what happens is things like break or don't work or I gotta clean shit, and then I'm just like Ugh. I just want it to work so I can like play the damn game, you know. So I ended up you know using um, like EverDrives and other other things, Mister and whatever. Like, I, I, I'm totally good with, like, the FPGA stuff. It's just prior to that, when it was emulation, um, you know, emulation has its uses, but it can be laggy, and I don't, I don't like laggy, because a lot, of, you know, a lot of the games I'm playing, I'm playing, like, these bullet hell games and, like, NES games that are, like, if you have any lag, it could really screw you up, you know, when you're trying to play, so it's, like, I try to avoid that. But I will say, that seems to have gotten better even over the years, too. So let's say I did play with, like, emulators now. Um, they're not, like, as bad as they, like, used to be, especially because I think the televisions also have gotten better. Like, the, re the refresh rates have gotten better and stuff. You know, you got to remember when I used to, like, be kind of, like, not want to use emulation. It was also, like, you know, 10, 15 years ago, you have these tele these older televisions that the refresh rate on the t televisions fucking suck, but now you have, like, these OLED televisions where, like, the, the refresh rate is really good, so it's, like, it's come a long way, even, even with that. Um, still not as good as, like, this. Like, this is just no lag, so, but... All right, anyway, I went to the right guy. Let me pay attention to what I'm doing here.
That was pretty well done. Can't complain. So far, so good. Now I gotta figure out, how to, I need to not go to the green guy. Does anybody know which path has the green guy in Delta? That would help a lot right now. Retro Arc plays at full speed with no lag. I don't like how stuff is organized in that though. I've used Retro Arc and um, it's, it's all right, but the organization, the way you like select the cores and stuff, I feel like it's very like, uh, at least for me, you know, somebody else might be fine with it, but I find it to be very like, um, I don't like the organization of it. Like it works well. I just wish it was like organized differently. I had a dream that I met you at the grocery store. I introduced myself and told you my Twitch username, and you said that's great and walked away to continue shopping. Do you think that's how it would really happen? Um, so I'm like buying my my blueberries and my um, oranges and stuff, and then I turn over and it's it's classic Mike Cade. And what do you say to me? You say. Oh, you're like, oh, I'm classic Mike Cade. Um, so I'm like standing there. I'm like, I'm like, oh, okay, let's see. Oh yeah, I get these raspberries. I put them in my in my thing. I go, I'm classic Mike Cade. And like, I look over, and like, you're you're like you're like standing like right here. Um, I probably would be a little freaked out. Um, you think I would just say that's great and walk away? Uh, it, uh, it depends what mood I'm in. <laughs> and it depends how you go about it. If you're, like, standing, like, really close to me, and, I, and like, you're, like, you're, like, pressing up against me, and you go, I'm classic Mike Cade. And I'm like, hi, I don't know. You probably freak me out. Uh, and then I'll probably try to get away from you. But if you, like, d went about it as, like, a normal person, then maybe I would, uh then maybe I would be more inclined to talk to you. Uh, and also, the other thing about that, though, is it depends, like, what's going on. I might have, like, 10 million things going on that day, right? So it's, like, sometimes that, that happens, and it's, like, you're, like, in the, you know, you're going out, you're doing a million things, and you're, like, trying to, like, get things done and shit, and then something like that happens, and it's, like, not to be, like, rude, or, like, I'll be at, like, a convention or whatever, and then somebody, like, wants to talk to you, and it's, like... I have to go to this panel right now, or I have to go do this and that, and then, like, the person's, like, disappointed because you're not going to stand there and talk to them, but it's, like, you have, like, all these, like, other obligations and things you have to do. So if I had nothing going on, I would probably be totally fine to stand there and talk as, like, a serious answer, but um, if I'm, like, in the middle of doing shit, I might give you an answer like that because I'm, like, busy. I would just follow you around and play pocket pull. So pocket pull, is that where you just like have your hand in your pocket and you're pulling it? Never meet your heroes. Yeah, you don't want to meet me. This is, this is more than good. You're doing that right now. So let, here, wait, here you go. So let's say you met me, and then I'm like, I, and I have time, right? Then what? What do you want, like, what What can you not, you know, you can ask me something right here. So it's like, you already get to do that all the time. What the hell's the difference? We're doing that literally, like, right now. But we can't smell you in the chat. That's true. I do smell really good. What's better than this? We are basically hanging in Mike's room right now. Yeah, great. I guess. <laughs> that sucks, hearing how busy you are at a convention, not really in-depth fan-friendly. Um, well, it depends. It depends, like, what moment you catch somebody. Be like, you know... 
if there's nothing going on, maybe, like, let's say it's, like, noon, and the panel's at 5 p.m. or something, then, sure, then you got time to talk. But if the panel is in two minutes, and I got to walk all the way across the building to get there, and I got, like, camera equipment and shit, and then you're coming up to me and you're like, hey, did you ever uh, beat Jekyll and Hyde? I'm going to be like, uh, I can't talk to you right now. I got to go to this thing. And the guy's like, yeah, I talked to Mike at the fucking convention. He's a fucking asshole. I mean, that would be the, like, the story that you'll hear online. And you'll only hear the bad stories online because that, that guy is now pissed off because I didn't stand there and talk to him because I had a, I had some, you know, I had an occupation, I had a, uh, I had a thing I had to do, so now the guy hates me because I didn't stand there and talk to him because I had to get to do something. And then that's the dude, he goes online, he's like, fucking guy, I fucking met him, piece of shit, he fucking walked away from me. It's like that. And it's like, I had shit to do, you know? And that's what this is like. So I don't want to do that. So I'm here, that's what it's really like. So, like, you're here right now in the Twitch chat, you can ask something and then I can like give a reply. I'm here like when I'm here doing this, this is like you know, this is a good chance to do that because I'm like playing the game, talk to you a little bit, whatever, we have the time to do that. Oh well Mike, that's reasonable. Yeah, the thing is, is a lot of these things that happen are reasonable, but then people want to make up a fucking story about their perspective of because to be fair, let's look at that guy's perspective. That guy's perspective is he drove to this convention, and he wanted to meet us or whatever, and then he sees us, and then he's like, hey, uh, you know, I want to talk, to, ask you about what you, game you think is the worst game or whatever. That's always the question. And then I'm like, I can't, and then I walk away. And then he's like, what the hell did I drive all the way out of here for? Right? I mean, to be fair, but... If somebody's got something to do, then they can't, like, talk. Then what am I going to do? I'm going to stand there, and I'm going to talk to the guy in the lobby and then miss the convention and, and then miss the panel. And then I got all the camera equipment. And then let's say I did that. I, st I stood there, and I talked to the guy. And then I get to the pan. Then, like, I have the conversation with him for 20 minutes. Like, we're having here. We have these, like, long-form conversations, and I talk to him. And then there's, like, 400 people or whatever in the panel room, and I'm not there. So now I just pissed off 400 people. So what am I? What am I gonna do? Like piss off the one guy or, or piss off the 400 people? Oh yeah, uh, they all came to see the panel, but uh, they didn't. They didn't show up because they were talking to the guy at the, in the lobby. Like, what do you want? I can't split into two fucking people. Mike is at least six foot. I am six foot. What does that have to do with anything? I'm exactly six foot. <laughs> what the fuck does this have to do with anything? Mike, I remember behind Toys R Us dumpster, you said, hey, 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 I want blowjobs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. I remember that. That was recently. Yeah, that was fine. I remember that. That's right. I said, hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 I want the blowjobs. <laughs> That's abs that absolutely happened. Right, can I like do this now? And you like how I said all that shit and nobody told me what path the fucking green one is on? Guess I'm gonna guess. Grab them. 
and uh, Perp and Gold, thank you very much. Uh, gifted out a bunch of souls, uh, subs. Gifted out a sub to Andre Van Zark, Sniff Impala, Solid Snake, Vincers, and White Wine Sipper. Those are gift subs that just came out from uh, Perp and Gold 24. Thank you very much, Perp and Gold, once again. You've gifted out a lot of subs on the channel, and I appreciate it very much. Alcoholic Rob also subbed, and 240PZA. Thank you, guys. Hey, Mike, should I quit my PhD and become a hobo? Uh, oh, I've also got a PhD. I uh, gifted out a bunch of souls. Yes, is that what I said? Subs. Good tangent, Mike. 100 percent would fap too later I mean you'd be fapping to this anyway no matter what I, the tangent it was so okay so H or G what do you think is going to have the green guy this is where I got to choose first and foremost Mike is a motherfucker period I mean that's true One guy, the one guy said H. One guy said G. You're part of the H gang. All right, I'll do H. I guess we're gonna find out. I'm gonna do H. I feel like usually I probably am lower, so. All right, we're gonna see if H is the right way. Hopefully, it is. We'll see. I really hope it is right. grab onto here. Here, okay. Please, 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 please. I think this is right. Yes, it is H. God. Thank you. The guy earlier who said H gang. You were right. You were right. All right. B D H. All right. Sweet.
if I ever met you at a convention and uh, I pulled my balls out, would it be okay if you sucked on my balls? What do you think, Mike? Let me know. Thanks, Mike. Okay. Okay. I met Ernie at a convention. That's what that was. There okay, we go. Boom. Oh, he's just straight up dead, huh? He didn't even go to the other part. Good. That was good. Okay. What about signing your balls? You want to sign my balls? What would you write? You're gonna write your name? Or you're gonna write like, I mean, I'm a Star Trek guy, but space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. It's five year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. And then on the other ball, we can, we can do the next generation version that says no one has gone before. Da, 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 da. That would be a lot of fun, wouldn't it? Hey, hey, I got the Megatron gun. Okay, so guy earlier that was in the chat that was asking about the one-up, it's coming up in a second here. We can talk about it. Oh, Just fucking died there. If I can get it, oh boy. I might not get it. Oh, it was right there. I missed it. It was there for a split second. I didn't have a good setup with this laser beam thing. I was trying to grab. I, I missed it. I missed the one up. But it was on the screen for like a half split second. That's where it is. <laughs> it's hard to get if you screw up like that. I screwed it up. I screwed it up. All right, so we still didn't pick the path. I guess that's going to happen soon. Was it the red guy thing, right? So what did I say? The top. I want the top one. M. I know that I want M on this. All right. I'm more, I'm more used to it. Zero up. Yeah. All right, choosing path M right there. Cal X, thank you very much for the sub, or gifting a sub to Domino's Fleet, that is. Appreciate that. What the hell happened? I never die on that part. What? That was weird.
Oh, what? I can hit the fucking ship down there? Dude, I didn't know that. Dude, that, like, angle? Dude, come on. I had no idea that could happen. Guess I know now. I've never seen that happen before. I was, like, too low there. It's like sometimes, like, you know... Like this fish is flying around behind me. Some of the sometimes, like to know when the background can hit you is like. It's like I didn't know I was gonna be able to be hit right there. Come on. He's not gonna be dead yet. Oh, he is dead! All right! Hell yeah, Lambda, Lambda, Lambda. We're on the last one. Whew. Usually, like, even after that, he still survives. I was able to get through them finally. Like that was pretty good. Here we go. Now I'm not gonna know what to do. Look how nice the graphics are. That red thing. 
God damn! We made it to the last level. Ugh. Meet Mike and be forced to binge the Bob Newhart show and Evening Shade. I'm going to make you watch uh, every episode of Nash Bridges that I've taped off of television. I have, I have the entire series on VHS tapes that I've taped live. Swedish, thank you for the tier one sub. I sent you a message on Patreon, Mike. Okay. Should I check it right now? Should we read it? Should I read it for everybody? Let's see if I can find it. Or did you not do it right now? Do I even have this on my phone? Here it is. Okay, I found it. Okay. All right, so this is from my Patreon. Mike, last week when I sucked off your huge cock behind the abandoned Toys R Us, it was the greatest night of my life. I love you, Daddy Mike. Please play Conker's Bad Fur Day. See you next time. Well, that's a nice message. That was a nice message. Thank you. And he, and he dona donated $100,000 to me, too. Thank you very much. It was very, very nice of you. Do I like Brave Star? Yeah, Brave Star is cool. Or go completely bald. Um, you know, yeah, the thing about go completely bald, um, is it, like, I have a question. So, like, um, I have to shave every single day or else I will have, like, a fucking, like, beard growing. Now, is that, so, like, I have my hair, right? So is that the same thing because I'm, like, I, I get annoyed that I, like, always have to shave every single day, but it's, like... Is, like, the hair that... I don't know how to ask this question, but, like... Let's say that I was bald. Would, would Is the hair on the face, like, different? Is the face ha uh, hair growing an indicator that you will have a lot of hair growing on your head, too? Or is it, like, you could be completely bald, but then, like, you're... Then you still have to shave every day. Does that make any sense? <laughs> this guy says... No, always have to shave too. So wait, you're so you are you bald? Is there any, here's how I will answer this question: Is there anybody in here that's bald, but you still have to shave your face every day? Gates McFadden. Right. Thanks. Your nuts are bald. Okay. 
So you're so you have to shave. Do you have to shave your nuts every day? Who here shaves their? First of all, who here shaves their nuts? You shave one ball. So you shave the which ball? You shave one ball and the other one has hair on it. That's an interesting. Crunchy the clown shaves his balls every day. Every day. You've known people who are the opposite. They have full head of hair, but they can't grow facial hair or a beard. Yeah, I'm both. It's just like... Trim the hedges. Too much? Are you saying this is too much information? What about the guy in the chat who he shaves one ball, but the other ball, he just like lets the hair grow? How many of you in here have one shaven ball and the other ball is super hairy? <sighs> he shaves... Oh, I see, though. I understand now. Because he shaves the one ball and then the other one that has the hair, he combs it over. <laughs> He comes it over to the other one. That's, okay, now it all it all makes sense to me now. Okay, man, if I would have gotten that extra life, by the way, maybe I would have made it to the last guy there. You like how uh, after all that I just go immediately back to G Darius. What the hell, nothing matters. Everything matters. I'm going to switch it up for a while. Everything matters, guys. I'm going to become Mr. Positivity. I don't think I could do that if I tried. <laughs> All right, so we're going uh, B. Gimme, gimme. So bad. Good. I feel like highly addicted to this game. All right, let's not slam into the wall like I did the other time. Gates McFadden. I saw Gates McFadden. Convention. Dun, 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 dun. She worked on Labyrinth. You guys know that? She did puppeteering. Before Star Trek The Next Generation, she did puppeteering. For like Jim Henson and shit. Yo, like Gates McFadden's awesome. You know how fucking hard work that is? Like, holy shit. That's no joke. Somebody goes, who? You probably don't know Joyce DeWitt either. How can you be in a Mike Matei live stream and not know who Gates McFadden is? What are you doing? You let your facial hair run wild to an extent, but you still shape it. What do you shape? So let's say you have like a like a full beard or something, and then you put like gel into it. So what are you shaping the hair into? 
you shape you could like puff it up and shape shape it into like two tits underneath your chin. So it's like it's like two hair tits. Is that what you do? Let me know. Send me a picture later. I like to see that. This is the same guy with one shaved ball. Hair tits? Question mark. Don't worry about it. You're thinking too much about it. You're still thinking about that? Man, that was like fucking a minute ago. What are you, what are you still thinking about that for? Where well, we've moved on since then. <laughs> Posts on Discord. Oh, God. Yeah. You want that again? No, I'm not. I'm not doing it. You'll shape your tits for me any day. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> shave your leg, but don't shave the back of your knee. Oh, what do you have? What do you have? Like a hairy back of your knee? <laughs> the back side of your knee has hair on it. They're called leg pits. Uh. When am I going to do the naked sensor bar game streams? I don't know what that is. You mean like... If I did, like, Atari porn games, and then I could stream them because I'd have, like, the a sensor bar over, like, Custer's cock? Is that what you mean? Or are you, say, are you saying that, um, that I would be censored? Like, my cock is out, and then I do a sensor bar over me? What are you talking about? Do you use an RCA cable to hook up your NES capture or capture card? <laughs> We're in the middle of a different conversation right now. A very important one. What kind of RCA cable do you use on a capture card there, Mike? I just... All right, I'll, I'll, I'll answer it. Do you need an RCA cable to hook up your NES to a capture card? Or can you use the normal one? RCA cable? Listen, if you're talking, God help me. So, um, all right, I wish I had an NES in front of me. So if you're talking about like AV cables, like composite, you can take AV composite and you can put it into, uh, I, I think the uh, retro tank would take that and then out of the retro tank, the HDMI cable would go into your capture card. One way or the other, you're gonna have to get it to HDMI so it can go into the capture card. Cause they don't, cause the capture cards don't have like fucking AV, you know, it's a fucking, it's a output for, input and output for uh, HDMI. So one way or the other, it all goes to HDMI to get into the computer. Gold tipped. I'll give you a gold tip. Can I just play this game? Like, this guy's got a gold tip. and then he destroyed both of them. Wonderful. That's not good at all. Well, that isn't good. Let's just 
just let them die. I'm not going to waste any capture balls. Have you played NES through a VCR? Um, so, okay, early on in ABGN, um, that's how we did it. I mean, we'd capture the game footage on a, on a VHS tape, actually. The first, like, uh, the Castlevania 2 video it was recorded that way, and we, uh, we did that up until... Um, you know what's weird, actually? You know what's really weird? The Roger Rabbit episode, when I was playing that, we had so much technical trouble. We didn't know what the fuck we were doing. But, uh, we kept, I don't know what the fuck was going on, but for some reason I remember having to re record, I'm playing like the Roger Rabbit game, and James is there, and he had hooked up his camera, and I, for some fucking reason for that video, I had to play Roger Rabbit on a little LCD screen. Like, I have a camera here. I should like, show you what I'm talking about. Hang on a second. Let me like, grab something real quick. I mean, now I remember the game enough. <laughs> I'm satisfied. Oh, fuck! Uh-oh. Give me the gun upgrade! Oh, it's a downgrade! I'm sorry, you can see the rest of that later. Um, so here's the camera we would record James and Mike Mondays with, and ABGN, and the ABGN movie, and all that shit. So, um, this, like, s screen, here. This screen here, like this, like little monitor, that's what I'm talking about. So, I mean, it was, a, it was a different camera back then, but like a little screen like that. So for some reason we had it hooked up. I don't remember the reason why, but for some reason for that video, and only that video, um, some, I think something was broken or something. I don't remember. But anyway, so I had to play all through Who Framed Roger Rabbit on that little fucking screen. And that's how we recorded the Roger Rabbit video. So, But that was got recorded onto a mini DV tape, I think. Either that or it was somehow hooked up to a VCR and still recorded on a, on a um, VHS tape. I don't, I don't remember. It was too long ago. But I, that's the one part I do remember, is having to play the fucking game. It's like you're playing fucking Roger Rabbit on this little fucking screen. I'm, like, sitting there doing that. But uh, up until the Top Gun... I know that the Top Gun episode is on a VHS tape. And somewhere around then, we started recording them on DVDs. And I don't know... Like, I don't think, I think by the time we did Friday the 13th and stuff, I think that was now on DVDs. So I think, I think he had gotten a DVD recorder or something. I don't, I wonder, that. I actually really wonder what was the first one that we started using the DVDs for. And we did that for years. And then I started live streaming, so like in 2015, so I started getting into capture cards and all that, because I was like live streaming, but he doesn't stream, so he he just kept using the DVDs for a long time, and then eventually I like set him up with, you know, all the shit that I have, so he has that now, but he was using DVDs for like a really long time. But yeah, so... Anyway, but that's how, like, I can answer your question. So he's asking if I ever recorded, was that the question? You, would I ever record games with a VHS tape or something? Um, yeah, I mean, that's what we did for, like, the first 10 or 12 episodes of AVGN. The, he still has those tapes, by the way. They, those, I've seen them um, the first, like, 10 episodes. Something like that. Yeah, and then we moved to DVDs. And did it with DVDs for a long time. A long time. I, 
don't know if that exactly answered the question. That's my answer, though. That was a long time ago. Alright, so this one is D. It would be at the bottom. It's so helpful to me to have that written down. I just, for whatever reason, I cannot remember which path I always take. So now I just, now I know where to go. I just gotta have a good run, basically. I can just get a, one damn good run. HD retrovision cables which contain five inputs instead of three. The question is, do you really need them or can you simply use the normal ones? I don't know. I don't even know what ones I have. I'm not like... I get like a lot of these like tech questions. I'm not like a tech guy. I don't know. I plug in the fucking component cable and play the game, man. I don't know. There's, there's better people out there, you know, to talk to about this kind of shit. And now we're gonna talk about the, in, in the interior of cables? Like, I, I don't know, man. I, I gotta draw the line at a certain point. Like, I'm not a fucking tech, like, guru here. And then he fucking says it again. Here we go. I already saw the comment earlier, and now he says it again. There are HD retrovision king tables, which contain five inputs instead of three. You know what I love when people fucking spam the same comment into the fucking chat, like, a hundred times? That's literally, I don't have many rules here. Like, you can fucking talk about tits and jizz and jacking off. But one thing that's really annoying is fucking spamming the same fucking comment over and over and over and again. I fucking read it already, man. Maybe I don't want to fucking respond to it, or, like, you don't need to do that. Like, what are you doing? Copy paste it? Because that's like a paragraph, too. So you're like copy paste. That's like, you're gonna, you're, gonna, you're sitting there and you, um, it's like, oh, he didn't respond to it. I had this paragraph. All right, it's been seven seconds. I'm gonna post it again. And you copy paste the paragraph, which I had, which by the way, I had already read the paragraph. I saw, the first time you posted it, I saw it and I read it. You know, there's a lot of comments in the chat. I don't respond to every comment. But a lot of them I read, and maybe I don't feel like answering the question, or maybe I already answered the question like a million times, or may like whatever. So like I might read. You have to understand, I might like read a question, and then I just don't respond to it because I've already answered it or whatever reason. So don't spam the same fucking question over and over and over and over. Cause all, cause then I look over and every ten seconds it's like the same guy with the same fucking comment that I don't want to fucking answer. There's a reason why you didn't get the answer. It's not that I didn't see it. It's that I didn't fucking want to answer it. If Mike doesn't read my question, I assume he read it and doesn't care to respond. Right? Yeah. Exactly. 
Imagine if Mike responded to every single person, LOL. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Henry the Wizard. That's exactly right. Like, Henry the Wizard might be talking about something, and then I'm like, I, I don't know. Or maybe I can't, maybe I just can't think of a response. I don't know, so I didn't reply to it. Like, just spam it again and again and again and again. Try again with better comments, lol. And listen, actually, the, the thing is, his comment, listen, what was it, Alex? Your comment wasn't bad, actually. Your comment was totally fine. It was just that you're spamming it. That was all. The, your, your comment was totally, like, valid. It was actually a good comment. Just don't fucking keep spamming it. <laughs> He's just asking about the difference between component and composite cables, right? Components have higher quality. Coax S video equals composite over component over HDMI. Does that clear it up for you? I think what he said is a little confusing, so let me let me clear up what Domino's fleet was trying to say. So composite is equal to component the way HDMI or coax is, you know, flipped from component composite. If you put the uh, the the uh, the five chord version versus the three chord version of coax composite, then you're good as long as you're using double HDMI. Double HDMI, by the way. Mike, what is the future of gaming? We're in it. Where we just fucking sit here and and there's some guy who fucking spams the same question at me a hundred times until I fucking yell at him. That's the future of gaming. It's just wonderful, isn't it? I hope the future of gaming is when they actually make virtual reality, not some fucking helmet that I gotta wear on my fucking head. Be like, oh, the future, it's gonna be virtual reality. That's what it was. Oh, virtual reality. We have it, but then I'm fucking sitting around with a fucking helmet on my head. Look like a fucking asshole doing that shit. Nice fucking helmet you got on your fucking head. Like, I'm good. I'm gonna fucking do that shit. I'll do virtual reality when they get rid of the fucking helmet, okay? And stupid fucking thing on my head. Like, go away. So we're going H. Uh, 
It could honestly be a video. Like, ga gaming equipment that makes you look like a fucking asshole. It's like the fucking power glove, you know? You're fucking walking around with the fucking power glove on, you look like a fucking asshole, you know? Or what else makes you look like an asshole? You're gonna walk around town with, like, the fucking Victor Max Stuntmaster on your head or some shit. The fucking stick. There's a, there's a stick that connects from your shirt up the side. It's, there's like this pole. <laughs> there's a fucking pole going from your shoulder up <laughs> to the side of your head. Because it's I, the idea behind it, I think, was to keep it like level. So you're walking around and you got this fucking, you got this fucking stick on your fucking head. Like... Oh my god! And it clam it clamps onto your fucking shirt, right? It's like it's like hardly any better. It's like twenty years later, and it's gotten like ten percent better. And you're still going around wearing these stupid fucking helmets on your head. And then you go, oh well, the uh, Oculus is better than this one, and this one, the Vive or whatever is better than this one or whatever. I fucking tried them all. It's still a fucking helmet on your head. They're all fucking helmets on your fucking head. I don't want to wear a fucking helmet. <laughs> like, like, fuck off with that shit. When are you gonna do a virtual reality stream? When it's not a fucking helmet. <laughs> PS5 VR is probably the most comfortable you've used. Some are more comfortable than others, and some are better than others, but there's still these fucking helmet things on my fucking head, and I'm not wearing it. Just turn the face cam off. No, 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 no. It's not about how to fuck it. Well, I mean, yeah, you look like an asshole with it. But I don't fucking care about that. Dude, I'll wear a dumb thing on my head right now. It's not about look. I don't care. Like, I'll look dumb. But I don't want to wear this fucking stupid fucking thing on my fucking head. This fucking stupid helmet things. I Because for virtual reality, like, I want to walk into a room... Or, and just like have, I want it to work differently than it fucking works. I don't want anything on my fucking head. You know? Fuck. Th that fucking, there's like this fucking thing that comes out of there and it's just like, God. No, it's not, it's not about looking stupid, really. It's about that I don't want to wear this dumb fucking... Like... Oh, well, God damn it, I needed to... See, now you're fucking distracting me. This is... Whose fault is this? This is the chat's fault. <laughs> Who can I place blame on? I want it to be, I, I, like, I want, like, sensors or, like, put, like, sensors on the wall or something, and then the fucking virtual reality just fucking happens in front of my face. I don't want, I don't want this fucking shit. Like, maybe one day they'll have, like, a fucking, like, seriously, have a fucking brain implant or whatever, and just, like, import it into my fucking brain or something. That's fine. I'll do that. But when I gotta fucking wear a fucking stupid helmet, I don't, I just, I just don't want to do it. So you want a holographic game. That would be much, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, basically like the fucking holodeck. The fucking room that you walk into and then like there, I don't know. It could, I don't fucking know. I just don't like how it works with this fucking helmet thing I have to have on my fucking head. 
I hate every time I fuck every fucking time I've ever done that. It's like you put this fucking thing on my head, and I just want to, I just want to rip the fucking thing off and throw it across the fucking room and smash it with a fucking hammer. That's how I feel about it. VR. Every fucking time I've ever played it, I can't wait to take the fucking helmet off my head. That's how I feel about it. It's like, when do I get to take this thing off of me? The problem is not that it's not a full helmet. No, that would be even worse. That, a fu like a fucking motorcycle helmet? <laughs> That'd be even worse. No, the problem is that it's a helmet. I'm like, sit, I'm gonna sit in my fucking room in my house with a fucking helmet on. Like, fuck you. No, if I'm gonna, if I'm, if I'm on a motorcycle, I'll put a helmet on. Gotcha. But I'm sitting in my living room with a fucking helmet on. No. Fuck off. I'll never do it. And everybody, everybody's so like eager to do that too. Well, I want to be the guy with the fucking helmet on and, and sitting in his living room with the helmet on. I look, look like a fucking asshole. I just can't. I just can't do it. So yeah, that's what I would want. I want the technology to change to where it's like you're. It's like a room that you go in. I want it to be like the holodeck or something. And we'll, we'll never get there. Like, I'll be fucking dead before that technology exists. So that's fine. I mean, we'll probably get there someday. But I'll be fucking dead. So I don't care. And in the, mean, in the meantime, with the shit technology we have now, the problem is, is that I know about, like, what the future could be. There will come a day where, like, the holodeck will, like, exist. And I'm like, I will just want that. Because I know, it, it, I know, like, someday there'll be something where you don't have to have the fucking stupid helmet. So, in the meantime, I don't want the shitty thing in the meantime. I just want the good thing. And we're not there yet. So, I just won't do it. I'll do other things. I'm not going to do the half-assed, like, version of it. Like, eventually it'll probably fucking get there. But it ain't there yet. Maybe they'll have, maybe like, it'll probably like start with like theme parks or something. Like, I, I bet you it'll, it'll be like fucking a Universal Studios thing or something. You go to Universal Studios and then you go in the room and they'll have like some kind of like holodeck or something. Maybe we'll see that like someday. But that'll be like, you have to go to like a theme park to do it. And then eventually someday it'll be like in your house. But in the meantime, I'm not going to be the dude wearing the fucking helmet. I'm just not going to fucking do it. And it's and it's it has been so like surprising to me that like so many people are just like so down with that. They're like, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to, I want to be the guy with the fucking helmet. Yeah, I want to be that guy. Mike spends twelve hours of the day hooked up to his VR helmet and the suck machine. Yeah, no, exactly. And that well, that's the other part of it is that. I'm already, like, when I'm not streaming, I'm always, I always have to fucking wear the helmet while I'm on the suck machine. So, like, you expect me to do these streams, and it's like, man, I've just been wearing the fucking helmet and I'm sitting on the suck machine for 12 hours. Now I gotta fucking stream with a helmet on, too? Like, Jesus Christ. Like, how long do you expect me to fucking do this for? Why can't we get previews in movies like we did with Super Mario Brothers 3 and The Wizard? You mean YouTube? You you mean like how you could go like on like Nintendo's YouTube channel and like watch a tra gameplay trailer? That's what it is. It's there. It's sitting there.
Do you mean in a movie? You mean in a movie? So wait, you want an advertise? So like, what are you even saying to me? So like, you want to you want to go to the movie theater, and you want the movie to be playing, and then in the middle it just stops and it's an advertisement. So you want the you want the movie to be interrupted, dude? You could just go. Okay, so you know how like you can buy a movie on like Amazon. And you can purchase the whole thing, and then you don't get any ads. Or you can watch it with ads. What you're talking about is, like, watching a movie on Amazon with ads. And then you you probably will get an ad for some, like, Nintendo game or something. It'll probably keep happening, because the ads are going to keep popping up. That's what you want? This is what he says to me. Why can't we get previews in movies like we did with Mario 3? The suck machine is always on. Well, you don't want to not have the suck machine on. I mean, that's why you got the suck machine. Otherwise, why the hell did you buy it in the first place? Damn right it's got to be on. All right, here we go. All right, so now here comes the one-up part, hopefully. There it is. See it? There's the fucking one up. There's your big chance to see the fucking one up. I just grabbed it. Good. For the future, always use that. God damn it! I fucked up. slam into the bottom of this if I'm not careful. Because they know that now. Boy. Sweet. Alright, I'm gonna 
gonna blow this up and then I'll grab the fish. Come on. Good. Good, good, good. Doing okay, doing okay. Looks like I'm battling Monstar from Silverhawks. It's true. I can see that. From everything it follows that, in order to get a normal image through a video capture card, in my case, RetroTank 5X, okay, you need upscaling cable. Without it, it makes no sense. But the whole program is that we can't buy them anywhere. Only from a foreign seller who does not send this thing to our country. Which is rid of the idea of purchasing a video capture card. Thank you, USA. What, are you, what, are you, what is the problem? In order to get a normal image through a capture card, yeah, and you're using the retro tank. I use the retro tank too. You need an upscaling cable? What do you mean upscaling cable? Without it, it makes no sense. Why does it make no sense? You just plug the fucking cable in. I'm doing it right now. Like, what are you talking about? I don't, I don't, does anybody understand what he means? I don't understand what you're talking about. I take the fucking cable. It's a, it's a, HD Retrovision cable. It goes from the NES into the fucking retro tank and then into the capture card. Like, what is the problem? I, like, what do you, like, I don't understand what you're saying. I hate, I, also, I hate this conversation. You're still, and you're still on this conversation. You know what you should do? You should, there, there's a retro RGB channel on YouTube, and he has a whole channel all about, like, tech stuff like this. You should go onto his channel and you should leave, leave these comments, because this is not, like, a tech, retro gaming tech channel. This is just, like, a hangout and, like, talk shit and play some games channel. So, like, if you're looking for, like, answers to, like, your detailed, like, retro gaming questions, like, this isn't really the place for it. We can't buy RetroVision cable. That's my problem. Be what? Because, what, they don't ship to where you are? Is that the problem? But why do I have to hear about this? Send them an email and say, hi, I live in so-and-so country. I wish that you would ship to me. Like, this isn't, I, I didn't do it. So basically what you're doing is you're coming here and you want to vent about that the guy, that they won't ship you the cables to wherever you are. I'm sorry that they won't. I'm not that company. You should tell that company because it's not me. What do you want me to do about it? Like, what am I? I'm now. I'm fucking tech support for like some other company. I'm just streaming fucking games, and it keeps like. And then you're. But the thing about it too is like you're copy pasting this to me over and over. Like, like I have to fucking see this, and this isn't my fucking problem. I'm not. I like. Send an email to them. Hey, Mike, my, my VCR remote's broken, and I heard that you also had a, uh, a VCR one time. And then I read the comment, and I don't respond to it. And then, hey, Mike, and then he says it again. No, just asked you, maybe you're using normal ones instead of it. What do you mean normal ones? Oh, you mean like normal component cables instead of the HD retrovision ones? Yeah, but the thing is, dude. So, I wish I could like get this to reach. 
Um, I can't get the um. So listen, like the port in the back of the fucking thing. I can't believe I have to explain all this. So you see, like the like this, like the HD retrovision cables, like plug in, right? If I just had a normal component cable, it would be the green, blue, and red on one end, and the green, blue, and red on the other. It wouldn't plug into the NES. Like it's a mod thing. You have to get the fucking right cables, and I'm sorry that they don't ship to you, but it, again, it's not my problem. This is I, I I'm not the one selling the thing. I'm like trying to play G Darius here. God help me. Okay, but where I, how come I can't order the HD Retrovision cable though? Because I see you use the HD Retrovision cable and I'm wondering how I can get one. How come they don't send it to me? Games and movies. Thank you very much for gifting out subs to the channel. Games and Movies gifted out subs to Chi Chi, Bionicles, Mick Train 89, Chappy Sand, and Tough Man. If you guys got a gift sub from Games and Movies, let Games and Movies know you appreciate it. Thanks again, Games and Movies. Games and Movies was trying to get me out of that conversation. I appreciate that. It was a good good timing on that. Question, Mike. Yes. What setting do I use on my VCR? <laughs> to make my blank eight hour tape <laughs> record for the full eight hours. Uh, listen. Oh, fuck me. Why, you're hoping HBO will show some titties? So you're going to record it all night and then fast forward? Hey, Mike. I like them titties. I really like them titties. Scrambled Spice Channel. <laughs> My wife uses HD Retrovision cables and an S video input cable to tie my ball tag. <laughs> and yank on them, they're good for that too. 
not only are they good to plug into your Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and NES, but you can you can wrap the HD RetroVision cable around your cock and have your wife yank on it. It's great too. Especially when you have one ball that's shaved and one ball that's really hairy, and then you use it as a comb over to the other ball. That's the way to do it. Lambda. Details like this are why I come to a retro gaming YouTube channel. All right, listen, I'm on this last level, so everybody shut up for a minute. <laughs> U or V? I have no idea on this one. Whatever it ends up being. I don't know. We're on V. Fuck! Oh, just... Shit. Oh, no. Shit, shit, shit. I hate that ship. Damn it! It's coming like, out of nowhere. Jesus. Time to do that, huh? Oh, come on! No lives left. Lapras is here. Yeah, I have no lives. Oh my god, I didn't even get the chance to use my fucking gun. I was trying I was trying to charge it. The fucking charge on the gun just takes forever. Well anyway, that's probably the last guy. I guess. I wonder if there's a guy after that too. 
I lasted longer against him than the end of the last stream. Yeah, like for like a split second. If I could ever get to him with like two lives or something. Man. This game is so hard. And what was that? What did I do? B? I'm gonna try this one more time. Just one more, just one more, just one more, just one more. I don't know though, like that last run was like pretty good. But it's like when I get to that last level. The problem is that last level, I've only done it like a couple times, so it's like I don't really know it at all. I wish I could like have some time to practice that last level. It's super difficult. I think I, I got that one up on that one level. I did like relatively okay on the bosses. Like, I just gotta do what I just did, but like slightly better, basically. <laughs> Who the hell knows how you kill that, like, Lapras? That's what I'm calling it. I don't know what else to call it. Like, how am I ever going to kill that thing? Even if I have, like, let's say I have, like, three lives when I get there. It's like, I don't even know if I'll be able to kill that fucking thing anyway. That would be, like, nice. Just to... I wish I could just like last longer against the, the blue guy. I'd like to also like, I wonder if he's like not even actually the last guy of the game. What if that's not the end? Like there could be like one more dude after that or some shit. The hell, why didn't I grab any? Did I ever end up playing Cuphead DLC? Uh, no. I beat Cuphead one time. It's like fine, I don't know. I didn't feel the desire to, that I had to play like any more of it. It was fun, like, I don't know. I played it once and beat it, like, I don't need to play it any more than that. I'm, I, like, people still talk about that game, like, years later, I don't know. I, I didn't I wasn't into it enough to have the desire to like go back to it again it was good like the one time I played it and beat it I enjoyed it but like that was that's all I'm good that was it I think some people just want to play that game over and over and over and over I'm just I don't know it was fine I like I liked it I liked the game but it's like I beat it I, I don't know
more than you could do in this game, damn. What, to make it to the blue guy? Yeah, it's, it's rough. Have I ever played Returnal? I streamed the entire game right here on this channel. If you missed it, uh, it the whole, you know, that's why I have the fucking VODs or whatever the fuck you call it. I hate that name. Uh, the stream of Returnal that I did, the streams, are, they're on my stupid YouTube channel. So if, like, you want to see me play that, I did. I liked that game. It was a good game. Uh, but yeah, I, play, I played through the whole thing. It was good. I beat it. It was a fun game. I like the way like you like dash around and stuff in that game. It was fun. So D, right? Just make sure you yeah, have this D. Stay on the bottom here. Give me that. Good. Side ships probably aren't going to last much longer, so I'm going to do this thing in a minute. Guess rate. I guess I'll do it now. Whoa! thing coming, right? Get one more capture ball. I think there's one more. There it is. I need that. There we go. Good. Alright, here we go. Silver Hawks. Partly metal, partly real. You played Cuphead once, and it was enough for you. For you. Fuck that game. No, I, I mean I li I liked the game. I just did, like I went through. I played the whole game. I liked it. I beat it, and I don't know. That, that was it. I beat it. So that was it for me. So good. 
last boss is giant metal looking shark. Oh great, so that so the blue guy isn't even the end. Wonderful. Sorry for disturbing your stream, but where else would there be those that would answer this question? I told you, on YouTube, there's a retro gaming YouTubers that do, that specialize in tech. That's where, which I already answered, I already said that earlier. I will also no longer send more than one question twice. Thank you for taking the time to answer them. Thanks in the chat for being able to clearly explain the essence of the question. No more cables next time. No, listen, you're, you're good. Also, it was fantastic because it gave me somebody to yell at for a little bit, and I need that. You have to understand that these streams are also um, uh, therapeutic to me. So I like, so here's the thing, I like this game. And this game isn't giving me too, too much to, like, yell at and scream at or complain about because it's, like, a good, it's, like, a really, it's a good game. So the fact that you came along and, uh, like, annoyed the shit out of me for a minute about, because you were spamming the comments was great, actually, because it gave me something to complain about. So don't worry about it. Just in the future, don't do, don't spam anymore. But in that moment, it was okay. You gave me something to, you got, I got my like, my anger out of me. So it still helped. So you're totally good. Yell at me. You, I have to have a reason to yell at you. I, I can't just yell at you. See, he naturally, just be, no, I listen. Everybody just be yourself. There will come a time when you're just being yourself and I'll get pissed at this thing you, that you say, and then you'll know that it's real. See, these people come in, they like try to like piss me off or whatever. I'm just gonna ignore it. Like I can usually tell the difference between like when somebody's like real or not real, you know. So somebody comes in, they're like, "Hey, Mike, like fuck you or whatever." It's like it's whatever. So yeah, just don't worry about it. It'll it'll happen. Just just, just wait. Please always thank Mike for streaming. The gratuity is very important. He's going through all these games. The gratuity? You mean you mean like money? How they sub? Yeah, everybody subscribe to me <laughs> right now. That's right. Yeah, he's right. Let's do what he's saying. Pay me. Mike has to yell periodically for his health, better or worse. It's true. I have to. It's so much better for me to yell instead of to like bottle it all up. It's for my own good. So far, so good here. Everything's exploding.
Okay, and H. So we gotta be at the bottom. Alright, I'm gonna do this before this thing blows up on me. Retrovision cables, Mike. Chat goes, yell at me! Yell at me! So there's so much stuff. Uh, retro industry is mostly overpriced bullshit. They exploit the retro gamers more than they do preserving them from bad emulation machines to overpriced cables and signal converters, leeches, charging hundreds of dollars. Mike, are you a fan of Ogre Battle series? I visited Spumco Studios once. Do you think Mike has legs? Me want yelling. I finished watching your Zelda 2 Paracosm on YouTube. Do you plan on finishing it? Um, no, because I can't go back to it. So... The Zelda 2 Paracosm thing. Listen. There were some good things the hack had. Um, but the fact that every, like, 30 seconds or something, every, like, minute, I fight an enemy and it kept coming up with 69. Like, you kill a guy and the points would come out and it would say 69. It was done purposely to be funny. And then um, there was just one part of the game where a character says yeet. There should never be, you should never have that. So, even though later on, I kept playing the game, and even though later on there was some good things about the hack, I will never be able to look at that hack and be like, oh yeah, 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 that was, uh, all I'm ever going to think of, all I'm ever going to think is 69 and yeet. That's it. That's it's the only thing that I can think of. He ru like otherwise like it was an okay Zelda 2 hack, but he ruined it for me at least by putting that garbage in there. So I don't know, maybe he can make a new vi a version of it that doesn't have st all that stupid shit in there cuz that's the only way I can think of it now. So it's very upsetting. <laughs> So no, I'm not finishing it because I I just I can't I can't really move on from that. I'm sorry. 
I don't visit the world of Hyrule to hear things like bussin. Hey, Princess Zelda, looking pretty bussin today. Is that Ganon over there? For real, for real. It's like, no. Like if I ever play your Zelda 2 hack or your Mega Man hack or something and it says like YOLO Bach That sucks. But I'm gonna turn it off. Because all that I can think about is how you suck as a human being <laughs> by putting that shit in there. So I don't want to play your hack, because now I know that you suck. Oni Lord, uh, Mickey, uh, Ani, Mickey, what is your name? Ani Lord Mickey, subbed, or gifted a sub to Killer Condom, thank you. Sounds like TikTok language, yeah, yeah, basically. So I tried it. I tried TikTok. I tried, try, I tried to make a couple TikToks. I like like retro video games or whatever, right? And like, so I don't know what to do with it. So I tried it. I'm like, okay, I don't know. I'll talk about like, whatever. I don't even know what I would do. Like here, I'll talk about uh, Fester's Quest or something. I think I tried to make a, uh, I tried to make a TikTok on Fester's Quest, and I was like, here's a. This is a cartridge of Fester's Quest, and uh, that game sucks. Uh, yeah, and then I send it, and then that, that's the TikTok I made, and then I was like, I don't know, see how that does, you know, I mean, pretty much, and then, like, nobody watches it, and I'm like, I don't know, I don't understand this fucking TikTok shit, I'm like, I'm too old for this shit, but then I'm like, on the thing, so I'm like, looking at it, right, and I'm like, alright, but what, what do other people do on this fucking thing, and so I, I look at it, and I looked at it. And you, you skip through it, right? So you're like, you look at a thing, and there's like a cat, and the cat falls off of a tree or something, or some, some shit. And you're like, okay. And then you go to the next thing, and then somebody is trying to be funny, and then you're like, okay. And then you go to another thing, and you go to another thing, and you go to another thing, and you know, you you scroll, you flip, you flip through it, and then you might find something that's kind of funny. You're like, okay, that was kind of funny, and then you go to the next thing. And then you go to the next thing, and you go to the next thing. Are they, and then maybe somebody comes up and they're saying something that might be kind of interesting. And then, okay. And then you go to the next. But then you, and then the guy's like halfway through saying this thing. The video is only 10 seconds long anyway. But the guy's like five seconds in, and I'm like, oh, this guy's pretty interesting. But I flip to the next thing because that's how it is. It's like you just got to flip to the next thing, flip to the next thing. Even if it's good or, or funny or whatever. There'd be, like, some, like, animal video that's kind of funny. Like, somebody got their head stuck up an elephant's ass or something. I'm like, oh, oh that's funny. Oh, there's, and there's more to it. Okay, next. And it's like, even if, right? So it's just, like, dopamine hit, dopamine hit, dopamine hit. And I think it's made to fry out your, uh, it's like, yeah, you get these, any dopamine that you have in your brain, it just, like, fries it. Because it's like, next, 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 next. And it'd be like, you know, even if the video sucks, it's like, okay, that one sucks, that one sucks, that one, oh, that was kind of funny, oh, that one sucks, that one sucks. And then it's, it's, a, it's like zap, 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 and it's like zapping your brain cells away, like literally zapping your brain cells away. So you know what I did? I deleted the fucking app 
because I think it's uh, bad for your brain. Literally. It's probably, it's probably does like brain damage or some shit. I ain't, I'm not fucking using that shit. I also, I also don't trust it. <laughs> you know? Can you just look at it and be like, like, who, who out there sitting there like, you know what I trust? TikTok. Like, no, no human being. Fuck. I gotta get the actual life. There it is. Give me. Got him. Nice. Sweet. That's good. Yeah, I know. I gotta stream some Darius Guy in a different deck to answer that question. I played Darius Guy, but I haven't like played it nearly as much as I played this one. So uh, I would have to answer that question after. I play a bunch more of that. It's a good question though. I would like to know the answer to that too. But I don't know the answer. Why don't they just call them Darius one, two, three, four? Because they're stupid. They should. Because they're stupid. Imagine Mike, but with a bussin' haircut. Is that, is that like, you have to have like a perm? It's like Mike Brady or whatever, right? You got, or like in season five of like the Brady, but you gotta have like the Greg Brady or Mike Brady. Like you gotta have the perm, but it's like on the top of your head and then the sides are like shaved or whatever, right? It's like weird. It's like, imagine, yeah, it's like Mike Brady, but if he, like, shaved the sides of his head. I don't know if that would go over well at his, like, architecture job. He, go, he goes into like work and they're like, Mike, you shaved your side of your head there. Shit. Mike Brady. By the way, I would like to say that uh, tonight's stream is dedicated to Mike Brady. The thing about that, though, is, in all honesty, all of my streams have always been dedicated to Mike Brady, so it's really no different. Tomorrow's stream is going to be dedicated to Florence Henderson, though. Friday night's stream will be dedicated to Maureen McCormick. We'll be playing... Uh, Sunday fun day. Damn, I 
should have grabbed that guy. Uh-oh. I might be in trouble here. Good. Grab him. Oh, I'm, oh, I don't have any things? Shit! Oh my god, I don't have any, um... Capture balls. Oh no. How did I run out of them? Now I'm in trouble. Um. I don't know how I'm gonna do this now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm in big trouble here. I don't think they're gonna give any capture balls now either. Yeah, they're not gonna give any now. How did I fucking run out? The only way I'm gonna get one is if I die, right? Like, whoa. Which, I mean, that might happen any second anyway, so. I mean, that might be for the best, actually. Yeah, and now I can't grab anything. This is the part where I need to, like, ugh, this is, oh, well, um, they need to, here, give me. Unbelievable how long this goes on, huh? Fuck! You think this guy could be dead yet? How about just blow up? That'd be nice. It's unbelievable.
on. Because <laughs> these things have to die, I guess. You probably can't beat it without blowing these things up. Like, you gotta die. That was hor horrific. Finally. All right, I have one credit and three life. If I can make it through the stage, unbelievable, unbelievable. All right, this is gonna be my last try here. Whatever happens, happens. You heard my balls are bussing? It's true. It's because it has the comb over. You watched America's Got Talent earlier. Some guy came out and was gargling yogurt. <laughs> yogurt. It was weird. The next thing you know, he was spitting that yogurt all over in the air and then wiped it off his pants, spread his ass cheeks, and caught the gargled <laughs> yogurt in his asshole, not spilling a single drop, the judges all sent him to the next round. See, now, if that's what America's Got Talent was like, I wouldn't ever miss an episode of that. <laughs> that's pretty amazing. He could, like, spit all that yogurt up into the air and then catch it in his asshole. And without spilling anything. <laughs> good, good for him, you know? Good for him. level. Jesus Christ. It's because this fucking fish never fucking dies. Get out of my fucking face. That's the problem is that fucking fish. Jesus. Jesus 
Christ. Come on. I don't know. That was my best attempt, though. I don't know. This game's hard as hell. This is fun, though. It's, it's a good one. It's a tough one. It's a good one. All right. I had enough for now. That's G. Darius. Tough game. All right, guys. I'm done for now. Thanks for watching. I will see you uh, next time uh, for something else. See you guys next time. It was fun. Bye.